Um, all that is left is just to illuminate your way is this, this burning building. You seem to have recovered everything. You left behind, like, a few pounds of rations. I don't, I don't, I don't feel so good. Yeah, Gareth <laughs> feels like he's about to dust away at any second. But other than that, you guys are just standing on a... on some dirt road, essentially. Some trail that leads directly here to the Fogwood Mill. Um, that runs deeper into the wood. All around you are just trees that are gnarled and twisted and have no leaves upon them. You don't think they're dead, but they don't look very much so alive. Um, smoke is billowing into the air from this burning building. Whoops. Mm, whoops, indeed. Uh, we got out. We killed the big evil guy thing. I don't see the problem. Well, I guess it would be a good uh, start to a day as any. Because um, it's it's probably around 4 a.m. is my assumption. Possibly. Possibly. Doesn't seem like a bad assumption. Ugh. We all have... Well, out of character, we all have dark vision, yes? Who does not have dark vision? Me. Is it Azarine. Well, yeah. congratulations! You're going to be in the middle of the of the march. No, no, nothing has changed. <laughs> I'm in the back, baby. Well, the <laughs> path over here. Wait. Uh, what? Right. Huh? You look a little and she like gestures like at her face, like just. I'm fine. Not a very bad liar, but fine. Go ahead. It's quite the aggressive, I'm fine. He, like, like, he, like, is able to pop way more than he should have when he kind of just stretched his back. <laughs> like, he does not feel good, but he <laughs> is trying not to show it. <sighs> Anyways. Oh, would you look at that ego? It's almost as big as he is. You know what rolls you need. Anyways, we should get going. I believe it would be foolish of us to try to sleep again after that. Especially with this burning fire next to us. Yeah, there's not much of a place to set up camp anymore. And if we're going to be in that forest, I'd rather be fully awakened and at attention. Okay. Uh, survival and... Uh... Yep. The other one. From, you, know, you know what the back do, baby. The back do know. this. Gets 16. Survival. Sucking Woo! the life right out of Gareth Woo! with that 16 perception. His one brain cell got, like, damaged. And then... <laughs> now he's operating on one left now. He had two before. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, Gareth is definitely, like, like scratching at his neck and, like, uh, trying to, like, see if there... Does it hurt? Is it muscle damage? What is it? And uh, trying yeah, to... He... Mm, it's it's yeah, rough, he, dude. He, he's like he's also kind of just like feeling like his like face and kind of like because he feels awful. Like he like he doesn't feel damaged. He just it feels feel like it. it feels like you've aged like forty five years. Oh, is what hot. it feels like. Um and uh, yeah, Valerie, you're looking around and trying to keep an eye out for things. I'm just gonna describe kind of what like Valerie sees. Everyone kind of picks up bits and pieces, but Valerie's getting the whole picture. Um, you press deeper into the woods, uh, stepping over gnarled tree branches that have uh, fallen down from decay, and roots that have grown up through the ground. And trying not to trying not to trip is a challenge unto itself. Um, so, but going slow, um, you manage to kind of just step over everything. There's some rocks that kind of fall away. The trail goes up and down at harsh angles, like the very ground itself is more wild and untamed. And there's a few instances where you look off to the left. The trail turns right, and you can tell it's because there's, like, a cliff. Um, just, like, sheer face down. Not, like, sheer rock face, but just, like, down below. Look down, there's just more trees. Um, this place is just all up and down and cliffside and rising hills. No mountains, necessarily, but just, like, stepping over knolls in a giant's garden. Um, eventually you come to a place where the trail turns to try and navigate its way down a harsh incline downwards, and you're given a short moment where you can see out over the forest that resides before you, and you see the gigantic remains of a tremendous, massive tree. But all that is left now is just the bottom, the trunk, the log, the top long having rotted away or fallen away, or perhaps chopped away. 
And from that this is, tremendous trunk grows smaller trees. That is quite a large tree. Or, well, what was left of a tree. Almost too large. It seems almost comedically huge. It's like a mountain. Uh, Valerie, roll a history check. Or a of check. I am proficient in neither, so... Well, no I did what I could for you. Big old tree! Big old tree. Whoa, That's big old big tree. That's a big tree, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a big old Garrett's fucking tree. Garrett's turn. Garrett's turn to roll history. Garrett's turn. Everyone gets a chance to roll history. Hey! Bam! No. <laughs> the supposed, uh, the, 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 a legendary tree is, uh, the Elden tree. A species of tree, like, think redwoods. Maybe yeah. a little bigger, though. A lot bigger. And, uh, supposedly they were all cut down in the first age as, to create bows and arrows for the legendary army of one of the original kings, of Winthra. Mm. And it's with these bows and arrows that the many wyverns which are different than dragons, the many wyverns that came from the mountains were felled. And uh, then man took the ascendant. Well, men and dwarves. On <laughs> Winthrow, at least. And that's just, a, that's just a fucking, that's a story. That is a story that Gareth knows. Uh, he, he's kind a of... story? How dare you pretend it's a story? Dwarves are the best. Well, no, I, I mean, meant he, the he tree part. Get, get the whole thing. He kind of just kind of mutters as the approach. Yeah, no, I know. Looks, I'm just kidding. He just says it looks um, like an old Elden wood. Hmm. Uh, there is a flash of purple that emanates from the inside of the Elden wood, and an aura of green and purple lights up the sky like an aurora borealis. Well, uh... we found our hags, and he's just gonna walk towards. A. <laughs> uh, after several more like. It's like a, like a couple miles out. You guys are just kind of running yeah. down the way, essentially trying to get closer. Um, are you are you guys like just barreling towards it? Or are you interested in uh, taking a stealthy approach as you approach the? Elden I'm interested Wood in not trunk. getting. Gareth, wa Gareth wants to kill these things and leave. I'll be uh, from solid snake. Are, are we are we doing a uh, Bogard Red Cat Part Two where he just <laughs> Bogard Red Cat Part Two where Gareth storms in, except now he has seven less HP, so he dies instantly. Yeah, basically. Um, there is a glowing white glow, the moon, finally revealing itself through the clouds. Except that's no moon. It looks well, over the treetops and through the canopy down below, searching through the wood, searching the trails. What do you for well, do? Brooke grabs... Yeah, no, Gareth, <laughs> yeah, no, Gareth, Gareth, Gareth Barrett, like, nope. by his belts and throws him in a bush. <laughs> First of all, you don't throw shit. Gareth gets into the bush with you. He voluntarily goes. Uh, everyone roll stealth he's check. Like, he's like, oh, right, I know what that is. Oh, boy. Stealth. Oh, 22 oh, in the wrong no. area. Come on, stealth. Nope. It's not. 15. Uh, okay, oh. sure. What is that? Uh, add that all up for me. What is 13 oh plus 6 God, plus 4? Oh, my God, you know math, bitch. That's a... You all know math, a, too. 38. A 38. Ooh, that's pretty we good. We all burn alive. You all burn alive. <laughs> 38 is really not that great, but that's all right. Uh, it searches over the canopies, and you guys go running into the brush, trying to just get away from it as best as you possibly can. Um, and uh, it's, it quickly, like, boom, like the light just shines down like a spotlight on where you just were, kind of like searching back and forth. Um, Brookhill rolls the wisdom saving throw, please. Woof. Plus five. 17? Yep. Yeah. Mm, there's a pain in the back of your head, and you're kind of like, ooh, 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 a little bit of a burning sensation, and you kind of like, you, you fight it off. Um, and I think... Gareth looks over, he's like, what is wrong? I think having resisted it, I think you do know what it is that just almost happened to you. Yeah, I, I think that that sounds reasonable. I'll check that rule am I, later. Am I, am I Frodo Baggins carrying the ring in Mordor uh, seen by the Eye of Sauron? Uh, you feel like you've just resisted someone trying to use scrying on you. Yes. What? Uh, scrying. You sent, you, you kind of got, you got, you got like a flash of light and yeah. like you saw silhouettes in your head of like people bending over like an orb, like a glass crystal ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, that image like quickly dissipates and now you feel alone. But for a second, you felt like you were being watched. But it was only for like a nanosecond. And then your brain sort of like fought off that urge. 
Um, however, now that you kind of know, realize that this wisdom saving throw was this, you kind of now realize, like, I, oh shit, I, I was being scried earlier tonight, and I failed. Oh god. Uh, is it... I think when I looked at the eye, they... They're looking for me. They saw me. I mean, they, they're reading my brain. Ah. She's clearly confused, and she, like, holds her head. Oh, and, like, it's ah. best that we do this quicker, then, than, rather than later. Uh, roll an Arcana check for me, Brookhill. To kind of understand what has happened. Okay. Um, your basic understanding of sky, uh, scrying. This is, like, a legendary, like, spell. Like, this is not, like... This is something that ghosts, ghouls, boogeymen, and hags do in the woods. This right. is not a tool used by the Inquisition. This is not something that is used is in some, the court this sorcerers. This is that's like, hey, we just, like, this is the Inquisition be like, hey, we just heard that someone was using scrying. Yeah. Like, that, like, go, go fucking take this them is out. Something, this is something that Otto von Balthazar would not believe and would then send his best people to go and kill those people. He'd be like, that's not true. There's no way you cast that spell. And then he would have sent Gareth to go kill that fucker. <laughs> yes. Um, and, like, Gareth, like... Might have done that before, but like, like we need to hurry then. Yeah, but uh, yeah, Brook killed with a 15. Scrying works on a level of how difficult it is to scry on someone depends on how intimate you are with that person, down to like, do I have a lock of their hair? Am I familiar with them? Are they a friend of mine? Do, are they a complete stranger? Have I seen them before? Uh, uh, we must I... go now. And Garrett just kind of stands up in the bush. <laughs> But, having resisted the power and rolled very well on your arcana, you feel like you've built a barrier. I... I think I'll be alright. Just... Jared doesn't believe that. <laughs> having resisted that was... the scrying, the light continues through the forests. Gareth is like, I'm okay, and Brugel's like, shut up, and she's like, I'm okay, and he's like, shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, it's a terrible yeah. romance novel waiting to happen. Uh, the light passes over without finding either of you. Any of and you. And we are going. That's, uh, what's going to happen. Are you as a party, uh, out of character? Are you guys, what's the plan? Like, as you guys approach the front, you do see no, that the front of the there. trunk is, like, open. It looks like a mouth, like a, a gaping maw, um, in Garrett, the side Garrett, of the trunk. Garrett, out of character, talking about in character, Garrett's plan is to go right in. Like, with speed, are you guys just trying to bum rush it? Or are you guys going to try and, like, recon first? Or are you guys going to try and slip in some other way? Or just go straight through the front door and try to kick everyone's fucking ass? <laughs> I mean... There's a reason they're hiding from us. Is is, is Gareth's kind of thing, like... That reason doesn't necessarily mean they're weak. I know, I, no, I know this out of character. <laughs> Although I don't think even stealth would give us an advantage because they know we're coming. Right. Yeah. Uh, just get in there. Ace well, you do just like solid well, snake drop through the ceiling. Longer. I think wait. we only have the front door. Wait, 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 wait. So we're pretty like we're pretty sure they're in there. So before we go in, uh, Brukil wants to like stop everyone and get the 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 eye pendant thing done. Okay, you take out yeah. the eye pendant. Oh, um. Before that, I'm going to say, like, what if I'm going to cover, like, I'm going to take some of my skirts and I'm going to, oh, wait, no, hold on. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have a spare, like, cloth or, like, fabric? Why? To cover the I, eye. To when cover we the it. eye. And then went, so that I can't see anybody. I mean, well, Valerie has it in the box. Like, she I took mean, the box. I can just crush the box. I was huh? thinking it would be easier for us to crush it in, like, a piece of fabric. I mean, Valerie can unhook her waist skirt. Yeah, you can just I, I, drape. You take the box and lay it on the ground, and then you drape, like, cloth over it just to make sure that, like, it won't be able to see anybody even as the box is destroyed. And, uh, I guess, Gareth, you guys are standing in the bro You guys are, like, in the briar, in the bush, like, kind of, like, trying to sequester yourselves away from that prying moonlight <sighs> light while you're waiting for this moment. Um, I guess we're how, waiting for... How easy is it going to be for me to, to crush it? Um, probably, I mean, it's, if it, if it is I, I what mean, it appears I, I test, to be, easy. I, I, I kind of test it out just in my hand first. Can I just, can I just raw egg it? Um, can you just raw egg it? No, it feels very hard. It feels kind of like a it's jewel. It's like glass. It feels yeah. glassy. Okay. Um, well, then, can't, like, I got, I got a It seems food. possible. It seems possible to destroy. I'm, it has an AC and it has an HP. 
Oh, if it has an AC and AC, then fuck it. Sword. Okay, you take out your sword and you prepare to smash it down, and you pierce through the box and smash down, roll damage. Nine. Um, uh, we, the audience, but the party don't, obviously, because they're not looking at it. Um, we see as the sword tip punches through the top of the box downwards into the f pupil of the eye and splits it open, and it cracks like glass. And we now realize it is a real eye that has been glazed in varnish. And when that happens, That's there is an explosion disgusting. of green fire that sprays up around Gareth's sword, and uh, he punches through it deeper into the ground, completely severing it. And ah! echoes across the forests. Uh, green fire spits from the top of the Elden Wood trunk. And you see three, you hear three horrible voices screeching in agony. And the light goes out. The spotlight shuts down. We should have done this sooner, dwarf. Val Valerie leaves at the best opportunity. I know, right? Uh, just, anyway. She doesn't even, like, talk back. She's just like, bitch. <laughs> you yeah, no, no, he is, he is feeling himself right now. Uh, well, with all that in, in you know, accordance, let's fucking kill him. The book I mean, says we kinda... should be harmed and, and um... Uh, crowded. crowded. Uh, like... Boo killed. Roll that damage for me. Damage. Three D ten, I believe. <gasps> what? <laughs> Wait, am is she rolling damage, or why? Why am I not rolling the damage? Because Brew killed is the one who did the research and came up with this to begin with, and to not let her roll the three D ten just feels very wrong. So Gareth does the finishing blow on the thing, um, but Brugel as the one who found it in the grimoire and did the research oh God, is going to get to roll so the 3D. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do 12 points of damage to some otherworldly force somewhere. The screams die down into the night. Um, this forest feels much less oppressive, but the green fire spitting out of the top of the Elderwood does not cease. And purple hues begin to fill Now's the air time. again. All right, the three of you are going to roll athletics. Literally just me checking to see how fast you guys can barge to the front door. What? Can I do acrobatics? How do you acrobatically barge to the front door? That's, by that's a legitimate question. Tripping. By jumping, by um, like <laughs> moving through like the d mangled branches and root systems. All right, fine. To <laughs> Yay! Athletics or acrobatics? Okay. You guys, you guys <laughs> see right, Azarine as she like she like Naruto, just like <laughs> like right up the side Naruto of the trunk. To... Enjoy, enjoy being in the front. Then she climbs up over the top of the Eldenwood <laughs> trunk and disappears over the top. Uh, what is the final person who didn't roll? Valerie, roll a acrobatic. Or athletics. I let Azrin do it, so I'll let anybody else do it if they want. Uh. Wahoo! Nice! Oh. As Valerie goes, all right, I'll, I'll go with her, and runs up the side of the trunk trying to stick to the wall like Azrin just did, like Naruto style, and then takes two big steps and then just falls flat on her back. Um, and, and then stands back up and just, I'm okay. Um, and runs in the front door with everybody else. Uh, Gareth, Peru killed, Azarine, and, you know, every, everybody gets in in their own way. Um, Gareth goes, like, smashing through a bunch of twigs and branches that have overgrown through these twisting tunnels of trunk and bark. And you smash into this large open, open room, open ceiling, open room. There are three, well, actually there's four large thrones made of bone centered around the far side of the room. There is a large table in the center with a large cauldron, and it is bubbling with some kind of hoarded energy and terrible smell. You see bodies deposited in the corner, flesh and bone from humans and animals alike. You see someone wearing a Riverboat Corps uniform. They are dead. Yikes. You see bodies and other defiled remains that I hesitate to describe. I will let your information... Your mind speak for itself. Um, Azrin, you're up on the top of the Elden Wood trunk because that's cool. I'm going to draw the zone for you while everyone while I'm doing that, you guys can talk amongst yourselves. I like how I'm basically doing this in a floor length gown. <laughs> that makes complete sense. That's the best thing to wear in the forest. Love exactly. the ticks. Love the ticks. <laughs> They're so good for your skin. They if they can penetrate it. They suck the uh, bad the humors out. 
<laughs> this is a this is a good good society that knows all about that. I can't wait for Gareth to die. Yeah, well, no. Gareth's in here, and he immediately <laughs> he'll be fine. Can we like light in the background so that I can actually see? Yes, because that green is uh no dark. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, Brookhill, I don't know, Brookhill could just be somewhere. Valor can just be somewhere. Yeah, you know, sp really, spread yourselves yeah. out Power Ranger style, but other than that, I mean, you know, have a good time. No, I'm fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay, like, half hidden behind Gareth, that feels like a good place to be. Hmm. Does Gareth count as cover if you're Brookhill? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't think so, sorry. <laughs> I thought about it, I really did. I really did think about it. I thought about it, but then I was like, no, because gnomes actually have that, like, as an ability, and halflings have that as an ability, oh, yeah. so if I took it away from them, then what would they have? Um, uh, lucky trait. They'd have full <laughs> cover. Enough. Not enough. <laughs> Fury of the small. <laughs> Fury of the small is the thing. They would have Fury of the Anyways, uh, Gareth immediately kind of just points his, uh, Great sword at like the closest, or just at the trio of hags. He doesn't need to point them at any particular one. Uh, you point your sword towards the trio of hags, hmm. and uh, you see them now closer. You're looking at them. one. Of, they're like they're holding their eyes, and you can see blood pouring down their cheeks. And one is wrapping bands around their head to try and like cover. Um, and they are they seem to be blind. They are. We're looking at a crystal orb in the far corner. On a resting on an old ratty velvet pillow that has exploded. You can see shards of glass everywhere. Up above you, you are. It's hard to describe the sensation. Up above you is a burning fire. It's like you guys are standing inside of a large bonfire, but you are not burning. You're up above is like f blue fire and purple fire and green fire predominantly above your heads. So you're standing in a kiln, um, but it does not reach down this far below. Um, and the bubbling cauldron in the center is, well, bubbling. As a cauldron tends to do. Alright. Um, I guess roll initiative. Yeah. Initiative! Apparently not. <laughs> oh my god! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like a tank this time. Azarine Valerie. Every single hag. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. And then oh, Brookhild, boy. and then Gareth. Oh boy. Ooh, all that right. Sucks. That's a good, that's a good, this is a good experience that we're about to all have together as friends in a party. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This is gonna be good. Um. Everything was safe. Okay. Yeah, a Azreen, you make the first. Well, I what you whatever you want to do. Technically, you're free to do it first. Um, I asked for initiative, but it's more asking for an order to things. Not necessarily combat has initiated just yet. Uh. He's here. Ah! Ah! No! My eyes. They've taken them from me. Um, intruders, intruders! <laughs> They've come into our domain, the fools, the fools! Uh, spellcasting ability modifier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, I am going to run over to Gareth, because. You Gareth... jump down, like, do a fucking front flip off the side of the goddamn Elden tree. Parkour! Parkour! Um, and then I am going to give you... A handshake. Uh, no. <laughs> Good, pat on the back. Um. I thought you two were just like, side goes side to like, like fight. dip him, but can't because he's big. So she just goes, you, she like, what are you doing? pushes him from the back of his shoulders and does, casts Trustfall. Uh, you gain... Uh, you what? can no longer, you cannot be frightened, and you also gain temporary hit points. Ooh. Uh, at the start what? of each of your, at the start of each of your turns, uh, you gain uh five uh temporary hit points. Oh, is there a max? 
uh, equal to your spellcasting ability modifier at the start of each of its turns. So every time you start your turn, you get uh, whatever uh, Azrin's spellcasting modifier All is. All right, so I get five? Yeah. Is it really yep. five? What the that fuck? That's so high. Why, your charisma is plus five? Oh, wait, no, that's my spell attack bonus. So that oh, so it would be don't, three. Oh, don't scare me like that. <laughs> I was so like, it's po it's possible. It is possible for your charisma to be that high at this level. I was just stunned. For a moment, was I was case. like, Jesus, I thought I had high charisma. I was like, why? I was like, Jesus, oh, I'm useless. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. I was, I was like, she must have, like, plus t two or three from a racial bonus? I was, like, doing the, I was doing the math meme in my head. Is that your turn? Right. I think it is. Yes. It's like an action. So you have uh, three... Um, Temporary hit points. It's not much, but it's... Uh, it's appreciated. Enough. Okay, good. This magical shield that floats Just in front of Just imagine this, chest. this tiny girl, like, putting two hands, like, right on his shoulder blades, like, ah, please don't fall. <laughs> don't fall on Please me. don't fall. Uh, Azrin, remember you are concentrating. I've put a C next yep. to your name on my initiative tracker to try and remember. Um, and then right. you, br you brandish your chakrams and just <laughs> strike a pose. Uh, Valerie, it's you. So I'm just gonna look at the green one and insult it. Ooh, and that's oh, that's the boy. point. Oh, man. I swear, if you could see yourself right now, we wouldn't be the ones killing you. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Ouch. Ouch. I, I need Ouch. to roll a better wisdom save. Hmm. Wow. Uh huh. Wonderful. Ooh. Mm. Mm. What is that? Is that a cantrip? Uh, that is a cantrip, and it is a DC 13 wisdom saving. All throw. right, here we go, boys. Here we go. Start strong. Do it, you won't. Are oh you kidding me? Beat it to beat it. I relish in my appearances. Oh, if you could only be so lucky, we'll poke some holes in that pretty little flesh of yours and make you ooze. That's gross. Yeah. No, Ew. thank you. <laughs> Ew. We'll make such a pretty thing of your corpse. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, I can't do anything else. Okay, sorry. <laughs> they're they're tough, dude. They're hags. They want. They they're, they yearn. Damn. Um, they love the roasting. So how close are they? Funny, funny. Oh dear. How's this work? Oh Oof. no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna spread out a little bit. Fuck. Oh no. Uh, uh the one points its finger, its long, gnarly finger, with a mm. gross nail sticking on the end of it, and points it at as at uh Valerie. Oh, it's mad at me. Let's see what we can do to you, my little pretty. This what? Curse. Okay. It's, Make it's a wisdom like saving throw. Uh, you uh, have to touch them. Oh, do I? Yeah, you have to touch them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah Alright, never mind. Well, in that case, I guess we'll use something else. You, yeah, got, she, you got lucky this time. She points at Valerie. And just... She points at you, um, and, and we'll cast a different spell. <laughs> Oh, another vicious mockery. Damn. A wisdom save of uh, zero. <laughs> Interesting. I see that these these claw these things are broken. Uh, let's see. I'll just tell you what they. What's the saving? Uh, it's eight plus their uh, spell casting modifier what's, plus proficiency. What's the twelve. Insult? You must beat twelve. Yeah, you gotta give us the insult, bro. What's the insult? The insult. I th their insult was simply saying that they're gonna defile your corpse. Oh. Yeah. And make you Damn. Defile me, huh? You're going to have to touch me first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Well, let me read what this bestow curse does before I get up there real quick. Oh, yeah, you just get, it. You just get this knowledge of uh, ahead of time. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, that is Hag 1. DC 12, yeah, okay, I'm gonna write that down for next time. I'm assuming it's gonna be broken for every single one of them, so we're just gonna have to remember it's DC 12. Uh, the next one goes, and it is going to... Uh, just to be clear, you can see through this all you'd like. If you want to shoot some arrows through this thing, go right ahead, you can shoot but it. I, I, this is just a cauldron. It's just a cauldron, you can go underneath it. If you want to go through it, you can crawl underneath it, it's a difficult terrain. Oh. Just to let you I all know. Over it. <laughs> I would not recommend it, because if you fail, you're gonna going fall in. That. 
Uh, the red one sees Gareth and goes, Ooh, lots and lots of armor we fought you people before. Is this touch? I'm so annoyed at my own spells. How does she know? How is it? Going through the tomb, swearing at itself. She's blind. How does she That's know? That's 60 foot range. Oh, no. It's a braille tomb. Uh, because when you're blinded, you make uh, ranged attacks at disadvantage, but saving throw stuff is unaffected. Oh. oh. But how does she know Gareth has armor? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, everyone knows. Around. Everyone in the state knows. <laughs> clink, oh, clink, wow, clink, 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 <laughs> clink. Everyone in the Z it's Gareth see. who has a zip code after his name. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so I saving, throw. saving throw. Yes. And apparently wow. you can make it at the end of each of your turn, as we learned yes. from Bogart Redcap. So that, you know, what goes around comes around. Hey! That's a resist. That's a resist. These vines of dark energy spit out from her finger and sling across the ground like a like a bolus or whatever it is. Um, and you jump overwards. Um, and avoid oh, no, it. I just fucking bat them aside. Bat them aside. <laughs> this mental, this mental strain is nothing to you. Um, no. Get those bad thoughts away from me. Is this one's turn? It sees Blue killed, and goes, "Okay, yeah, but seriously." Make a uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> no more. No oh! More. <laughs> oh, you know what? Way better idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm. No, you already said Brook Hilt. You already yeah, you're, said Poe. All right, yeah. I'll you go. already no, said Poe. No, All right, sure. I'll go. No, take these vaccines. Sure. Brook Hilt. That's scary. <laughs> I, like that, I like that yellow hack. She's just like, I ain't got time for this shit. Like, yeah, no. Involved. The other two are like, eh. And she's just like, okay, sir. Okay, fuck it. Ooh, okay, ouch. Oh. oh no! Oh no! I really hope you enjoyed oh, playing this no. game with us. One, I two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I, I use my, my, my. I don't have bardic inspiration. Not anymore. <laughs> Cutting uh, words can't save you. You're too low. <laughs> you take seventeen points of lightning damage. Yeah, the one just lightning God. bends. One drags their finger across their oh left arm and their breast, and then out through again. That's the other side, and straightens out their arm. And a bolt of lightning rips across the air and just hit, strikes you right in the chest. And this is probably the first I... time you've seen magic that is like this devastating. We didn't need to see that. <laughs> oh Jesus! I gave myself a health bar just to give you all an idea. Can I even count? Yeah, I can count. I think. If I get it wrong, just just tell me. I'll fix it. I, I, I think you're good. Counting. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I can't you, see it. Everyone sees Brookhill just like Bleh! just like take this fucking lightning bolt right in the goddamn chest, and like lightning like ju like between your teeth, like lightning jumps down to the ground between your legs, like lightning arcs off of you to like the surrounding wood that burns and combusts. Um, sparks fly off of the dirt around you. Um, you take a lot of damage, but you are the sole survivor of this particular one. It do it didn't think quick enough to try and strike the other ones. Um, that is the end of their turn. It is it is brew kill. That is your retaliation time. Actually, uh, before my turn, I think I can I. Is that that's a reaction? Can I hellish rebuke? Fuck yeah, you can. What does that do? Uh, uh, dexterity saving throw or two d ten fire damage. Uh, yeah. A dexterity saving throw. Fail save. Well, they're not very so... dexterous. What's your save? What I think it? they fail. My so they take 2d10. Is... Yeah, they, they, they do save. So... No, no, they do not save. He rolled a 5. Uh, sorry, they do... <laughs> uh, so I refuse one... to believe that your Hellish Rebuke is that. No, no, no. It's uh, whatever your... Um... My spell save DC is 12. Yeah, so it fails. Right. Yeah, it yeah. fails. So roll 2d10 for me. So... Unless you want uh, to yeah. use it at a higher level. No, you're level 3. You don't yeah, have higher level yet. 2d10, yeah. Okay, All yeah, right, that... So, like, Ruhil gets, gets absolutely wattled by, like, lightning, and she falls to the ground, but not without an extremely loud and angry and furious shout at the horrible, ugly hag that just defaced her like this. And, um, the hag is surrounded by hellish flames. <laughs> This I'm is sorry that true... happened to you, Brookhield, but uh, that was kind of cool. This is a uh, Harry like Potter-esque fire. Like, there's this mad, this battle of wizards <laughs> takes place off to the right of just a lightning bolt and then a fireball and retaliation that explodes <laughs> off the fucking 
the brown robed hag. It's, just goes, it, it, doesn't even, it doesn't even throw a fireball. My target just, just spontaneously combusts. Yeah, the yeah, fire no, surrounds uh, her, surrounds them and just goes diving turn, in. Yeah. Uh, yes, you are. It is yeah, your but, turn. So hey, this is a reaction, as, though. As soon. How does that work? Um, yeah, you just reacted, so it's still your turn. Oh, oh yes. Bad. Yeah. It's a reaction, Good. so I'm not She's done. You got him twice. <laughs> she gets up and she keeps yelling at the voice. How could you? You horrible, motherless knave. And she casts Eldritch Blast. Couple. Well, I don't know about this one, Chief. Uh, I don't think that that one's going to hit. Yeah, that one's Shit. not going to hit. That You go for the follow-up attack, and they recover from the fire to die of narrowly out of the way. They're quite agile for old things. Yeah, but so now <laughs> is it uh, Garrow's turn? Yeah. No, it's but, yeah, so he uh, watched this streak of lightning kind of scream past him and impacting uh, the dwarf, and he immediately kind of grips the uh, greatsword in two hands and immediately... Not just charged. Dives at, uh, in. Yeah, he dives in. Uh, uh, yelling, uh, you should turn your focus elsewhere, and then uh, swings. Go for the attack. God! Yeah! Uh, you, I mean, you slash a good slash down, but these things, like this hag is seriously, <sighs> like, it's been around, and it does twist its body and contort in unnatural ways to avoid the swing of your blow. Um, or, wait, wait for it. No, no, I'm not. No. Fuck yeah, it. this thing is just like it's not armored. It's just like natural. This is naturally like fucking weird. Um, but yeah, it that's we're back to Azarine. Uh, oh, uh, okay. Gareth, remember to add your temporary hit points. Your your plus three. It is capped at plus three. I'm afraid as well, though. Uh, I am going to move up one space. Uh, and I tell my party members to uh, hold their ears. Oh, also, since it's your turn, I get three more uh, hit points. Uh, up to my spellcasting. Oh, oh, so max. Only get oh, break. damn it. Yeah, sorry. So, it's it's every round though. So every round you get three. So. Yeah. So, uh, Greeny, Greeny over here. Mm -hmm. Greeny, Granny has to make has to make a wisdom saving throw. Oof. Let's see if she can do better this time around. Just forming a roast squad against this one green. Egg. I think she fails. That fails. What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, so it is charmed by me until the spell ends or until me or my companions do anything harmful to it. Uh, the charmed creature regards me as a friendly acquaintance, so I'm assuming that I'll let it fight with me. Mm, I don't think it's going to turn on the rest of its coven to yeah, be no, a friendly that's only like you. Crown of Madness. Like Crown of Madness. What you are you doing? Oh. It would never harm its friend, though. Never harm his buddy old pal. It might hurt us, though. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> such a sweet little thing. I haven't seen a fish like you in so long. Come over here. Let me pinch your teeth. Oh, gross. I'll yes. stand over here. Thank you very much. Yikes. <laughs> um, And I think that's all I can do. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Living on a prayer. What are you doing? Are you good? <laughs> um, you Gucci. Hold on, oh, give me a minute. Okay. Give me, give me, give me a second. Is this? Uh, Brooke healed. What? Invigoration at second level. This Yay. is for you. Wait, hold on. I'm very sorry. Is it a cantrip? It's not a cantrip, but it's a um. I'm bonus afraid action. you. I'm afraid you can't cast more than two, more than one spell per turn. Even what do you if it's mean? a bonus action. I know. It's I know. I'm sorry. A, a rule is in the game where if you cast a spell at that requires like a level, like a spell slot, you cannot cast another spell on your same turn unless it's a cantrip. I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry you I was not it. aware, but maybe that's a good thing because yeah. those rolls weren't as great. It's okay. It's all right. Save that spell slot. The reason why is because <laughs> of druids and clerics. The reason is because they would have like a not like beyond godlike power if you were able to yeah. cast two spells in the same turn. That one was a bonus action. One was an action. Um, but unfortunately, the rest of the classes suffer as well because honestly, I feel like it is fine for you to be able to cast healing word on your turn, even if you cast a spell already. But as the rules are written, I have to abide by that. Maybe I'll fucking change it if I think it's stupid later, but for now I'm going to stick with it. 
Sorry. Do you have a cantrip or anything that you can say that does a bonus thing? Or I think you might no. be. All right. Sorry. I literally have Dazzle You and Illuminate, and I don't think Illuminate will do anything for me. Yeah. All right. Well, then it's uh, Valerie's turn. Okay. So, it's quite well lit in here. Everything has an obnoxious green glow and occasional purple sparks. But I guess I just have some. I guess I just have some beef going with this uh, green hag. So I'm just gonna shoot at it. Okay. It, it goes. <laughs> oh, are you the? Are you the fr- Are you a oh, friend no. of my little dearie? Ah! <laughs> she gets shot. No, I'm not a friend. Uh, it takes Why would you do that? that? She was a friend. Oof, that, that hag's been hurt. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm no, sorry. He's not playing around. Okay. She you. saw Brookhill get hurt, and she's like, okay, this might be our death hole. Uh, that was not as actually as... Uh, it's not as hurt as I thought it was. I had a 12 written down, and I was like, damn, it already took 12 points of death. Oh, wait, that's his DC. <laughs> I just wrote that down for my own memory's sake. Uh, yeah, you do 15 points of piercing damage to it with a critical blow. That, like, takes out, like, right into its shoulder and begins to bleed profusely. Um, it is its turn, and it's gonna be like, Oh, you little, you. Oh, how would you like to be a toad, dearie? A toad? Uh-oh. Croak. Uh-oh. Do you see wisdom save? Wisdom Croak saving throw a- to avoid the effect. Toad with a hat. Uh-oh. Well. Uh-oh. Let's Look see. Let's let's all read the rules specifically before anything bad happens. Uh, let's see here. Spell has no effect on a shape. Well, you're not a shape changer. Transformation lasts for the duration, which is up to one hour. Concentration, concentration. Um, uh, the new form could be any beast equal to or lower than the target's current level. You, uh, your new scores are replaced with the statistics of the chosen beast. So what? Valerie, bring up, bring up the toads. Can you please, uh, Valerie? You are a fifth Just edition toad frog toad now. Uh, yeah, there is a puff of black smoke poof, and blue fire. And when the st- 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 toad disc, st- st- I can't even say it. This fucking toad. <laughs> when the smoke dissipates, there is just a red hat on the ground. Valerie has been vaporized. Oh no! What's that? The hat's moved. A small, a very small, very pale toad. That's like albino. Sticks its nose out from underneath the. Uh, it's you know it's a cute toad. It's a frog. It's a tree frog really. Um, sticks its face out from underneath the hat. It is a toad with a hat. Yeah. So either either, uh, ten turn. Oh, up to one hour. Never mind. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's. I for thought a- it was one minute. That's for everyone to read. Yeah. Oh wait. Uh, I'm, so am I just out of this fight? Well, I mean, uh, you're. No, you can. You still have-, have a turn and can take actions. You're just a toad now. <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> So, what I you can attack. do is we could attack you. Uh, uh, if you take any damage, you revert. Hurt me. Yeah, hurt that's me true. More. Yeah, if you want to, if that's what it says, any creature as that long, gets attacked. As long by. as we don't kill the toad. <laughs> when it reverts to its normal form, hold on. Where, where's the part where it says if it takes damage? Are you sure it's not the creature that cast it taking uh, damage? No, if it reverts as dropping to zero hit points, if the excess damage carries over to its normal form. As long as the excess damage doesn't reduce the normal hit points to zero, it isn't knocked unconscious. So we have to kill the frog. Or we just break the witch's off. concentration. Or break yeah. the witch's concentration. Help me more. <laughs> well, <laughs> hold, on. hold on. The target assumes the hit points of its new frog. No, I know for a bad, because I remember we polymorphed this thing, like this actual like, scary creature, because we had a fucking druid well, right? hold on. i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna I, jump onto the fucking valerie's r- or azarine's ring blade and just hug it <laughs> i should have looked up removing polymorph ahead of time um i'm telling you like because i remember we casted it on this like big fucking monster but then i, I know it, but since... i i can't rely on the rulings that happened in another person's game i have to look it up myself okay. and see sorry i I, be- right. I believe you and i'm willing to trust it but i'm gonna i'm gonna look up a little bit on the side um I don't it, by the by the rule that I'm reading here. I don't quite. It, it, I don't really understand how Valerie taking damage would turn them back to. Um, it's like her her HP has as a toad. Yeah. If that goes to zero, she goes back to normal. Yeah. Any like, excess damage has, carries over to its normal form. Oh, I think I do HP understand. And how much health the, does a toad have? <laughs> um, I think it's like ten. Like it's not high. Five. That's, that's half, like, that's more than half of what I have. Frog! Uh, a frog has, uh, oh, shit. Uh, roll 1d4 for me. Uh. Okay. But no, the thing was, was that 
we cat we cat polymorphed it, but since it was so big, it fell enough to cause falling damage, and then it took enough falling damage to revert in the that, same turn. That sounds like a DM's genius way of getting out of your bullshit mechanics. No, this is good. Yeah, Valerie, you are turned into a toad with one HP apparently. Which means that if you try to kill the toad, you're definitely gonna cause excess damage. <laughs> Well, I like this. No, I like this. This makes a lot of sense. I always thought that Polymorph was really OP, and I never quite fully understood like why wow. that seems OP. But it turns out totally fair, totally totally desirable spell. I like it. I don't want you to all get killed by being turned into toads. Um, but you are a toad. You have one HP. Your statistics are that of a frog from fifth edition. If you want to just Google five E frog, then that that is you now. Um, What's his AC? Uh, eleven. Or eleven? Ten or eleven? I think it's ten. AC's 10. It's no lower than 10. I don't think your AC can well, wait, be lower question, than 10. Wait, question, question, question. Yeah. Is a, is a AC of a willing creature zero? No. Like, like if I, if I, well, I'm asking out of character. If, let's say we're back in the inn and Garrett does some dumb shit and like, Brugil wants to punch him. And I'm like, all right, I'll let her punch her. Uh, in that scenario you're painting for me, you are out of combat, which abides by different, different rules. Damn it. Yeah, uh, but I will say that he can use his action to try and assist you in hurting him, in which case you have advantage on trying to cause him. I don't think you're going to miss an armored class of 11 frog, but he's small, and hags are trying have to you kill you. the rules I've been having tonight? That's true. Here. The, the ruling... Frogs are fairly deaf. Kill me! Kill me! Um, yeah, there's a tiny pitched voice uh, that screams, punch me! Um, but no, Kill the, me, you won't. The, uh, the counter argument is uh, there, it's a tiny frog that is very hard to hit inherently because it's so fucking tiny. But then on top of that, there are three hags trying to kill you while you try to hit Valerie in a frog. So it's What's still my be, AC? <laughs> you still have to roll. Your AC is apparently uh, 11. Here, I'm just oh. going to send you this because we've, we've asked so many questions about the frog stats that it's now going to be in the general <laughs> chat. And I've already done the research. There you go. Um, is in general chat. You, that is you now. That is your life. <laughs> this is your life. <laughs> this is your life now. For the for the next for the next hour. Go grab Valerie. Just grab Valerie. And just <laughs> chuck her up into the air. Chuck her into like the gravity air. do the work. Uh, yeah. If uh, yeah, you are a frog. You are just Valerie's turned into a frog with a red hat for the for the next hour of their life. Um, it is the red hat. So we got a positivity and dexterity. Uh, this time, the hag knows how its spells work, and it approaches. Do it. And it touches you. Yeah, that's right, baby. What is it, a wisdom save? It's a wisdom save. It? Please. Wisdom saving Please. throw, and then it'll do something. It'll do whatever it wants to do oh. to you, essentially. Uh, it's oh, not going to. to you more. resist. You, ah, you, throw your, you throw your sword aside, knocking aside its hand with the flat of your blade as best as you can. Um, you avoid the curse's effects. A black skull emanates out of the palm of this figure and blasts up against the wall behind you, you having narrowly missed this psychic blast of energy. Um, well, yeah, there's no, like, I don't think there's any fail condition. You're good. No. Yeah. Uh, and now it's, now it's the brown one's turn. And the brown goes, seriously. <laughs> and fucking just sweeps its no. claws across the air. You missed. Wait, you sweet. You're doing it twice. Yeah, it does too. Okay. Yeah. No. Both miss. They both miss though. <laughs> it just wipes its fucking claws over, and you dodge underneath. I, I the second the one head. buries against your fucking chest, but they can't. They can't go through the armor. Um, that's the end of their thing. Um, Brookill, we're back to you. Brookill, oh God. just punt the frog. <laughs> the vague squeals of. <laughs> okay. Just, wait, wait. Okay. No, let, just, me just... No, let me out of character. Let me. Let me just say. If you just if you grab if you grab Valerie and just throw her up as high as you can, they're sure to take falling damage. You have to throw her higher than right, twenty feet. A frog, yeah, but she's a frog. I can throw a frog. Okay, yeah. what if I throw the frog at the hags? Well, I mean, they won't take falling damage. They won't take falling damage. Just, I will willingly let you pick them. me up and just throw me at the frog. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Bruno looks a little bit panicked, and um. <laughs> you pick up yeah, Valerie she's, she's and you hear herself, hurt me as but, loud as she can. But Valerie's just like, hurt me, hurt me. So she like get like gets over, picks up the frog, Destroy. and throws the frog like around here, like over there. Well, no, throw it up, not across. It won't take falling damage. 
But if it hits the wall, it'll take bludgeoning damage. <laughs> throw it. Throw me across the wall closest. If to you. if you throw <laughs> the frog as you. hard as you can at the at the wall, I will roll bludgeoning damage. In theory, the rules as written state that you are using. Here, here I'm just going. I want you to know how stupid the rules are sometimes. Rules that written as written dictate picking up this frog is grappling this frog, which is your action, and now you have to wait until next turn to throw the frog. I'm just going to I... say you can throw the frog, because that's unreasonable. Okay. Yeah, I just want to let you guys know how stupid the rules are sometimes. Okay, and like the frog wants to be thrown, so... It does want to be thrown. <laughs> you pick up the... You hold this frog up in your hands. You have your one hand under each of its like armpits. It's just staring at you. <laughs> it's wearing a red hat. And then you just turn around and fucking chuck it as hard as you goddamn can for wall. Roll on a flex check. Wait, th wait, are you th where are you throwing it? <laughs> Like, they're all here. Roll athletics. Roll athletics okay. to yeet this fucking frog as hard as you fucking can. I just, I just want to imagine, like, in his head, jumping in the back of the head. He's like, what the fuck? And then this Valerie just on top of him, like... Uh, Valerie, uh, just, you hit the ground about here, and then just roll the extra five feet to the wall, and you're just lying on your back. You've taken no damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Brooke held rolled a three. What do you want from me? Oh, yeah, that's fair. I didn't see that. <laughs> I'm hurt. I just, I just ate a fucking lightning strike. You break. It's hard. Yeah, you're out of breath, it's hard dude. To throw frogs. Your heart there's... stopped for like four seconds, and now you just recently <laughs> come back to life. And all of a sudden, there's a frog saying, "Hurt me." <laughs> Brooke gets a little wigged out. All right, listen. Um, I do think that like picking up and eating frog together is your action, though. I do feel like oh, that yeah, is fair. Absolutely. A good attempt. Next time, you can go for another try on trying to kill this fucking frog. I can't believe that this is devolving into kill your fellow party members. It's uh, I love this so much. I'm gonna. This is so it. good. I'm very happy I, this that could we have all. Been an Eldritch blast. I'm very happy we all but learned no. how polymorph works. It turns out it's not only a very balanced spell, but a very funny spell. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I mean, like, trust me. Like, my my friend loved. Polymorph. Oh, it's so fucking good. All right. Uh, yeah, it's Gareth's turn, I guess. Gareth, you just look behind you. Just hear. Here. Good roll, roll. Uh, what's the frog's move speed? Twenty feet. Twenty feet. <laughs> I feel like only the frog should answer. Oh my god. For the frog's sins. Frog, nah. can, frog can get up to about here. Fortunately, we nah. live in a non Euclidean plane, so the frog can get through the hypotenuse or the horizontal as fast as it would like. You can yeah, try and no, jump into uh, the cauldron. It might do damage to you. Who knows? Uh, yellow. You go for the attack, you strike for yellow. I do it. Yeah, hey, you hit it. superiority dies. Fucking sweeping. Oof. Red's also taking it. Oof. Red has one 11. higher AC. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, eat a dick. Six. That yeah, their AC is 17 12. damage uh, to both. 17 damage to both. Oof. Okay, yeah, red is like not ready for it. Red is not ready for the blade to carry through the brown one and then continue towards itself. You um, think I'm done yet? No. <laughs> I don't know. Are, are you? Jesus Christ, action what can you still do? Action surge. I don't think you have your action surge back. You used it on the, the, yeah. el the undead. Oh, God, we didn't, have, we didn't, and even didn't have a rest. short rest. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well that's my turn. The, the white knocked it out of you. And you have three... You still have three hit points, right? The temporary... Yes. Okay, good. By the way, it said you get those hit points on the creature's turn, which implies that every time Gareth starts his turn, he gets those temporary hit die. Hit, hit yep. points. Cool, so you get three uh, extra HP. Nope, I, I, I was about to say, yeah, I'm going to go to the rally so that I can throw them, but I can't because Attack I would get... Attack of opportunity. Them. Yep. Okay, well, that's the end of your turn. It's um, Azarine's turn now. Uh, you. Do you want to try and attack the frog? <laughs> we need to hit the frog. We need well, to. I mean, Azarine can attack two two people. Azarine could. About... I could. She could run yeah. up, attack the hag, and then throw the other chakram back to hit the fucking frog with a chakram. Uh, fifteen, fifth, twenty. Perfect. <laughs> you, wow, this is, uh, this is for the hag. She spins and throws her chakrams in both directions. The one does not hit the hag. It, it goes wide and begins to spin back around like a frisbee. It returns back to you. Um, oh, whoops. Sorry. Yeah. Ignore it. Um, but then now you can attack frog. God! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. The the fucking this this is you, you, actual. You, 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 this frog does not want to die. 
high. <laughs> as wrong you, you as throw the so ring, <laughs> but like you throw it a little high, and it just like just like almost like a fucking horseshoe just lands like the circle, like the inner the circle. The frog just... lands perfectly inside of the ring. It's yeah. a fucking horseshoe game. It's like a game of uh, yeah. oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah. As a, uh, Valerie, the ring just like <laughs> like lands like right on top of fucking the, the frog. Uh, it is the frog's turn. <laughs> just cut yourself. Cut yourself. Can I hurt myself? Yeah, I want to hurt myself. Just have fun the fucking ring. <laughs> in, I don't think there's any. Wait, can I move outside of the ring and fucking just smash my face into it? How does one? How does war? I don't think a frog has like. It's not like the frog has weapons, right? No, 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 I just want to hurt myself. Yeah, by if you Azarine. if you were uh, like for example, if you were human, to hurt yourself and to attack yourself would be easy. You just cut yourself. As a frog, I'm gonna make <laughs> you roll an attack action against yourself. Oh my god! Should I roll the chakram? Roll either dexterity or strength to try and and kill yourself on this fucking chakram. <laughs> you have to beat your own AC. I can't believe it. Roll a d20 plus your strength or your dexterity. You pick. I'll say that you have finesse on killing yourself. You have finesse as a frog? <laughs> this is the dumbest thing and I love it. Why not? Why not? I mean, you don't even have you don't even have opposable thumbs. The chakram weighs them more than you do. I know, no, that crush your head again. With a 20! You lift your chin high and swing it down on top of the chakram and cut your fucking head off. <laughs> and well, I cannot I cannot even begin to do the mental gymnastics required for you to overcome that level of self-preservation that every creature has to throw your neck down on this blade and no fucking kill yourself. You. No one is gonna believe you when you talk about this session. Uh roll chakram I'm gonna roll the chakram damage. Um you take four points of damage, the first one immediately like you die. And then there's a puff of black smoke, and you are just on the ground. You do have a faint nick on your chin from the extra three damage that bleed over to your actual health. And just the ring is around your neck. And, the, and you are wearing the, oh god, is the ring oh, big enough to fit over her that neck? <laughs> this, surely. Uh, this surely. chakram is massive. Yeah, it's a big chakram. It's like Tira's fucking, like, ring of death. Like, well, maybe not that big, but it's pretty big. Um, so like half of Tira's chakram. Yeah, so you, you just take the chakram off and throw it back to Azarine. Um, so I took three points of damage? You took three points of slashing damage. Which, uh, you know, all's well ends well, really. Um, that yeah, is I your do, turn, though. You can move. I do now. have a reference photo of how big these chakrams are. Yeah, you can uh, see, I can see part of it on, the, on your profile After picture. After that, here. Valerie picks herself off the ground. I've never been suicidal a day in my life. Things change. Uh, do you move? Now that you've recovered your, th your 30 feet of movement, essentially. Do I have an action to you make You do not anymore? have an action, no. Um, but you do have your bonus action, reaction, and movement. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just stay where I am. I like that. Polymorph turned out to just be like a, I'm going to waste your time spell. And that's very fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm cool with that. <laughs> I like the suicidal frog. The suicidal frog is very interesting. All right, you hang out there. That's fine. It's, a hag, it's Green Hag's turn. Green Hag's taking a lot of fucking damage, actually. <laughs> Green Hag's like, oh, holy shit! Oh, my goodness. My wait, Green goodness. Hag, I, I've been... Huh, wait. What Does she damage? look fucked? Oh, I, put the, I did put the damage on the wrong person. Sorry. Yeah. That one is extra like... fucked. Yeah, yeah Brown yeah, Hag has been or fucked. Red. Green Hag's... Well, Green Hag's still not feeling that great, actually, but better. I hit her for 15. Uh, ooh, yeah, okay. No, Brown Hag is the one that's actually fucked up, but Green Hag has actually still been hurt for, by quite a bit. Um, but Green Hag, uh, what, what spells do they have at this point? Okay. Um, it's going to approach the fray over here. Um, and it Good, sees... Come closer, come closer! <laughs> no, it sees that you're able to hit more than one person on a single turn, and it actually is smart enough to avoid that sort of thing. Um, it casts whole person on you. Again? Come on. Or at least it tries. Wisdom save. Yeah. Get fucked. Damn, you're eating these spells. You feel the, the twinge in your mind and your, your wrists try to go down to their size, but you fight it. Your muscles bulging. I'm wiser with it. You're wiser with your age. Yeah, your, your, your stolen hit points have actually turned out to be better for you. Uh, the yeah, red is going to make a... five years and he actually <laughs> grew some brain cells. No, no, no. Haha! -ha. No. Wait, what? Don't. <coughs> God. Damn Red. It. Red is like, all right. 
<laughs> and uh, also wises up with the, the brown hag and just fires a lightning bolt down the two of you. All right. Uh, yep. What is it? Dex? Uh, it is a dexterity saving throw. Valerie and Gareth both make a dexterity saving oh, throw. Oh, no! Oh, oh Fortuna! Oh, no! I <laughs> like how the extra one limped in. Oh my God. Real shit. Real shit. The two of you take <gasps> 28 points of damage. Gareth each. Down. Uh, I'm down. The narration oh goes as God. such. Gareth is blasted back by this magical force of energy that just like rips up his like rips up your armor. I'm not going to say it's destroyed, but like you are like your pieces of your fucking armor are blasted off of you. As you are thrown Garrett, back Garrett, by Garrett gets a strange sense of deja vu. <laughs> a very strange sense of deja vu. You have you been special beamed cannoned. Again. Um, you are Raditz, and uh, Valerie apparently is Goku. Uh, Ooh. yeah, you take a blast of energy straight through the chest, and it darts along the inside of your armor for a second, and, like, some of the rivets just, like, explode out of it, and you throw back- your body is thrown backwards. Um, Valerie, you are like, I did it! I killed myself! What? And then this glowing energy just smashes into your chest and throws you away like a limp paper towel. You just bounce off the back wall and fall down on your knees. Um, do I actually get, like, do, or do I stay here? Uh, I... well, you, you're thrown back five feet, which is still within the same square. Sorry, uh -huh. no. Yeah, you are forced out of that square. You take two attacks of opportunity from the hags as you are thrown, but no. Well, um, no, no, it wouldn't be that. It wouldn't, like, that wouldn't be how Nah, I'll, I'll, it, move, I'll move you if I feel that there's ever a story-related thing to do. But since you guys could potentially learn lightning bolt in the future, it's a bad precedent to set. Do they set the tree on fire because lightning ignites flammable objects in the air uh, that are being worn or carried? No, not this place. Not this place, at least. This this. Place oh, I sent you a message. Just yeah, to... you did. You, you did. <laughs> yeah, Whoa, all of the elements. Yeah, you, uh, Azarine, you oh. just watch as this lightning kind of... You, like, dive out of the way of this as well, getting very close to the blast. And, yeah, you watch as your two friends just gets blasted by this lightning bolts. Um, and there is this wildly glowing light on uh, Valerie's arm. Um, it is Brown's turn. Gareth. Yeah? Let's see here. Well, no. Hey. No. Hey. No. You're gonna fail his death save? Don't do it! Would the hag no. want to, is the real question. No, no the hag sees it. I mean, I did, I did I'm shiny! I, I, I did do some bad damage to it, though. You did. I don't know. Azrin has proved to be too damaging. Um, so the the brown I'm one shiny. moves over to go in for the attack. I Look at me. Wait, where are you going? Where is she going? They click. They what? Are you gonna try and ask for an opportunity attack as it moves away from you, Mister Dead Man? <laughs> uh, does it move there? Why doesn't he? Why doesn't she move there? T no, tell me. Does do they move there? Yes. All right. Cool. Yes, I want an opportunity attack. You can't. You're dead. You're dead. Oh my God! He's oh actually my alive. God! Gareth raises up out of the ground, having fooled everyone, including the DM. Oh he has one fucking his God. eye. His eye opens, and there is a burning light shining out from underneath his fucking armor. Like there is like this I blinding said, red light. Like I too. He didn't go unconscious during that. Holy shit! Yes, it moves away. the The red Fuck. one. The red one would have moved Fuck, away too, it. but you can only you take one action. I still mm, have advantage. Mm, have advantage. It. Do it again. Yeah, do it again. Yeah, fine. Fine. Give it to me. Yeah, do it. Yeah, okay. do it. Oh. yeah, you fucking hit it. You surprised me. You surprised everyone. I don't see why you shouldn't <laughs> have surprised the hag as well. <laughs> now you you just like rise up out of the fucking ground. Your eyes like glowing with rage. Um, and you cleave into its back. Uh, and you do holy shit. Yeah, ten points of fucking damage. Uh, yeah, it's very. It looks behind with its mouth agape, just like whoa. Screaming as it falls over, as fucking blood sprays into the air. Um, Valerie's definitely Valerie. Do you have any surprises to tell us about her? <laughs> nah, uh, my only surprise was decapitating myself. And Every, then everyone then turns around and looks at Valerie, and Valerie just doesn't move <laughs> and just limp. And everyone's like, "Oh." <laughs> Um, yeah, that's the, oh my god, yeah, the brown one was just, like, very surprised. It was gonna make an attack against somebody, but, like, I think it's, like, I, I guess it still does it, but it's, like, super, uh, Hey, wait, all of these ranged attacks should have been with disadvantage. Target, C-Tex. Oh, well, they're not, 
they're, well, no, no, no. They're, AOEs, if they're, they're, if they're saving throws. They're, they're yeah. saving. I can't. I can't cutting actions. words, magic spells. Yeah. Unfortunately, like if it was doing Eldritch Blast, then it would be a disadvantage. Um, or some of the other cantrips. Uh, I will admit though that the claws should have been at disadvantage, but it missed anyway. So it. Well, no really claws matter. were no claws are at no. They're just uh, those were melee attacks. Those weren't. Yeah, but it can't range. see you. It's blind. If it's blind trying to hit with a melee attack, it can't. Well, I mean, they failed anyway. So yeah, they fine. failed anyway. But yeah. uh, I will remember that going forward. I did forget. Um, make a eye bite. What is that? A that's a saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, Azreen. Why? Eighteen. You succeed. Fuck you! It, uh, I learned that word from Brookhield. I don't know what it means. <laughs> what a nasty little potty mouth you have. Uh, yeah, there's. I don't it, know what that means. It opens its right eye, but it's just like all covered in blood and hay and muck Ew. from the injury that it's received very recently. And you are kind of like emboldened. You're kind of like, "Fuck you! You can't scare me with that. You're injured." Even though I don't know what fuck means. And uh, it is Brookhield's Brookhield's turn. And um. <sighs> What, the red one kind of goes <laughs> and is like sniffing the air. Okay, so the most, sorry, the most damage hags are brown and green, right? Most damage one is brown. Having just received a surprise blow from fucking okay, all, still like, somehow is, living. Red is fairly damaged. I'm mm. also fairly damaged. <laughs> Wait, you can't yeah, heal though. I can't heal you even, like, I'm just like, mm, do you want to die? I can kill you. <laughs> I can't heal you. <laughs> that, to a um, pussy you are. <laughs> I cast sleep you can try um it's it, it's about it's with like current hit points so if they're weak they're they very easily fall asleep what is its current hit points okay uh yeah i mean it's I it's, choose, a, it's a risky uh, business i choose wait no, no, no. i choose this spot so i can get like both red and brown and me or wait no they can't uh, can you can you select? I, I don't think don't it know. is a ascending order from lowest to highest. So the most damaged one to the Actually, is <laughs> I'm looking to see. Oh, yeah, creatures yeah, within no, twenty I'm, feet. I'm, yeah, no, Gareth no, would no, also be. Fuck. Yeah, Bitch, I will die. <laughs> Not die. I would. Will... He'll be <laughs> unconscious. Wait, 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 he will wait, sleep wait. again. Okay. It's it's twenty feet. Well, if I'll you cast can... it like here. Yeah. So it only gets like. The like, even if it casted here, like, I should be It's like totally close someone on the fireball. You can do it. It's possible. Totally. Yeah, you can do it. Um, well, if, if I'm in that circle, there's nothing. Roll 5d8, and that's the amount of hit points I can basically Hold on. sleep. How, am I a cruel god? No. I mean... I'm not a cruel god? I mean, no, you're you stole not. you stole seven eight, like max HP from me. Yeah, yeah. Like, in in repayment for the seven HP I've stolen from Gareth, I will then lend to Brookhild. Yeah, don't don't use the spell. You you cannot physically do enough sleep damage to sleep them. But they have too much health still. Uh, Even if you crit and did forty sleep damage, quote unquote, they have more than forty HP left. What the fuck? You said they were like almost dead. I did not say that. I said that the most damage was the brown one. I did not, that yeah, but... out of the three, it is the most damage. I did not mean that it was is significantly wounded. Just, it is the most yeah, damage. Yeah, but like, 40 damage should be enough to sleep like one mm, of them, though. This, this is the boss of the dungeon. No. There's three. I know. Fine. Uh, fine, I'll just fucking Eldritch Blast it. Question, does, uh, does, uh, okay. drinking a potion, does that count for, Action. Um, damn it. You also gain three um Start here yeah, start your turn. your turn. Temporary hit points. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, cause that do we No, you I, wanted to I die earlier. Lost. Fuck, I don't. <laughs> it goes Please wide, I'm afraid. No no no, okay. I'm not that I'm not that mean. I'm not that mean. Okay, because usually usually I know other DMs who like if you try to hit someone with a range attack with someone within like five feet. And you get a crit fail. That's hitting the other I, person. I I sometimes do that, but I will only do that if I've warned you ahead of time that that is the cost of trying, and I have not done that, and so that wouldn't be fair. Um, fair enough. I I'm, guess it's so funny if I yeah. kill. I mean, it would be. It would yeah, be. It would, it would be. be. But I don't. I uh, not not my style. Not my style. Not my style. I would only. I would do that if I warned you ahead of time. Like if you oh maybe if you get a critical failure or get below five, you might hit Gareth. But I didn't get the the opportunity to do that, and so I'm not gonna suddenly pull that out of my ass. Even though I'm sure you'd be willing to go along with it. This is not, not, not truthful to me as a person. 
Um, it is Gareth's turn. Uh, you get three HP, temporary. <sighs> yeah, you're at four HP. I cannot believe that you tears of denial this. Yeah, I know, right? They're, they great. are still all shocked. They're like, oh, my gods, by the girl, by the god, by the raven goddess herself. Oh, she'll, we have something with Gumption. You will make a fine sacrifice to the goddess, to the goddess, yes, to the goddess. Uh, how much is a, I have one, I have one healing potion. How much does that do for me? 2d4 plus 2 is what it does 2D4 for you. 2d4 plus 2? Surely they can't cast more lightning bolts. Oh, they sure fucking can. Um. Uh, oh wait, yeah, fuck it. Uh, bonus action. Uh, uh second wind. All right, bonus. Ac- uh, first action, heal yourself with a healing potion, or are you just no, gonna... no, 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 just bonus. Action. Second wind, one d ten plus your fighter level. So roll that one d ten. So so one d ten, and that's gonna be plus three. Five. Fuck. Not great, but not could be worse. Fuck. Could, uh, could so possibly now a total of eight HP. That's not gonna be enough. Uh, to use your blood sword technique, or you need ten HP to sacrifice. <laughs> is that what this is about? I dude, I can't, dude, I can't moonbeam. What the fuck? Oh no. Uh, I mean... Yeah, no. Fuck it. I'm chugging my last potion that I had. All right, go for it. You go for the chug. He just he just holds up a finger as they're like, oh, he's got gumption. He has a hold of finger up as he just grabs the potion. <laughs> it's chugging. And starts to chug it. In. Uh, so what is it again? 2d4 plus 2. Hey! Hey! Oh, you crit. That's a real good fucking potion, dude. That's a real good fucking potion. Dude, dude. Fucking tasty, dude. Wait, that's plus 2, though. That, you, you yeah, just... Yeah. 10. So, mm. so now I'm at 15 HP. That ain't bad. That's almost max. Yeah. And he just throws the glass on the ground. All right. Back to business. And Look at that. Uh, see, I don't know what you guys are afraid of. Uh, that is the ha- Azarine. We're back to you. Oh, actually, wait, wait, wait. Just a quick thing. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm afraid Fuck of. You. You're, Fuck you. You're a bold man. Uh, Azarine, your turn. <laughs> Move out of my range again, I dare you. I am going to uh, cast Healing Word on Valerie. Because I don't think Gareth needs it right now. At uh, second, second level. Here you go. Take that. Okay. So eight points of healing. That is your bonus action, so you can only throw one chakram. So I'm going to run. Red is going to face my fury. You come out of nowhere like a fucking tornado, a whirling dervish. A God! You cut open all of Gareth, he dies. <laughs> no, it does miss, though. It sidesteps out of the way. These things are weirdly nimble. Like, they're, they, like their bones bend in ways you're not expecting. On your turn, Azarine, you look up above in the sky and hear thousands of caws, like like a, a whole murder of crows and then some, a whole fucking like like horrible travesty of crows in the sky, um, and they all just start dive bombing down through the green fire, and their feathers, their black feathers, combust into this green fire. They start burning and screaming, and they dive bomb into the pot. What? And they no. immediately hit and just bubble and spill over, and there's like goo coming down the side. Um, and there's just these thousands of screaming crows just pouring down through the air. A few kind of like flutter past everyone else, and their wings kind of beat against their head, and maybe they go for a bite or two. I'm not going to roll damage, though. Um, but they're all mostly predominantly just lighting themselves on fire and then hitting the ground upon being killed instantly by the flames or throwing themselves into this pot. I don't like this. Uh, Valerie, it is your turn. Okay. Roll a death saving throw, please. Wait, no, I, see, I healed her. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's right. Valerie's back up. Okay, well then, Valerie, it is your actual turn. Uh, You're living on a prayer. Who's the most hurt? You. <laughs> you, so. you. I mean, I, I am still kind of hurt, but... Well, no, I'm talking about the things I plan to kill. Oh, Because I can't uh, kill myself right now. Brown. I mean, I Brown is the most hurt. But still looking good. Oh. So, I'm going to go I over to... I have 159 and kill I get. Gross. It doesn't hit. She, oh. ca- she catches the arrow out of the air. <laughs> Quick as a buddy. Yep, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> You're gonna stay right back there, huh? Uh, actually, yo, know, I'm gonna move over here. Nobody form a line. <laughs> share the load, share the load, share the load. And uh, the other hag walks over here. 
and lifts up their hands to the sky and starts muttering a language none of you understand. Damn. I don't like this. The red one it lifts up one hand to the sky and begins chanting in a language you do not understand, except for a few words. Oh, goddess karma that they be, grant us the power, smite down the non-believers, smite them, smite them. Well, Gareth, make a wisdom saving throw against twelve. 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 You nope. F- you fail, it's vicious mockery, you have to spend your reaction to get away. Um, and you take three psychic damage. Uh, only the one hag is going to get an attack of opportunity. Only one? Alright. Yeah, because this is the one that cast it, and so only this one can actually benefit. Okay. Um, this is one claw attack, but they're blind. They can seemingly communicate with each other, so this is the lower number that appears. It's a 20? Okay, well, okay. Christ. I, what? 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 Plus 13. Oh. No, it's because of the crit. You only take the one. The yeah. 11. Oh, Let's okay. Right. Thank you. You scared. I, I, that was so scary. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, it's just the 11. Which is still fucking, again. That's still bad, but you're Wait, not you're down, down instantly. No, 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 I'm not down okay. instantly. No, I would have been down instantly. 24. Really fast. Holy fucking heaven. That's if it took the crit. Uh, it is the brown one's turn. It marches down over here. And it raises up its hands and begins chanting as well. Um, more crows kind of throw their bodies into the fire. Um, you see as a hand shoots up out of the ground, Azarine. Um, okay. one of the bodies lifts up and just screams at you in pain. In terrible, horrible pain. And then you okay. see as its life force leaves its body through the air and floats into the cauldron. And I don't then it like drops this. A dead if our final time. We need more ether, more mana. We need more blood for the blood god. Uh, is it my turn? The walls between the worlds are fracturing. You cannot stop us. Call me crazy, but what if we tip over that cauldron? Could have killed it. It's your turn. <laughs> How okay? How heavy does that cauldron look? It I looks like it probably door. weighs like seven hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, <laughs> but we're, yeah, no, mm-mm. no way that's happening. It Air is, is strong, but not that strong. It is cast what iron, is it? and it is about fifteen feet wide. What is it being suspended by? Uh, several probably large legs. wooden like, legs that are wooden. Spinning. Well, hey, hey remember, yeah, yeah. remember, Wood it, has an AC. remember, it took you guys about an hour to cut through that door, so this might be tough, but possible. No, Anything's I possible. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to rely on it. I won't rely on it. I, I'm going to assume that whatever the fuck the green hag is doing, like, that, that ritual, whatever the fuck, like, is concentration or whatever. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. my, po- my point is to, like, to, like, disturb the green hag and whatever the fuck she's doing. The sky above begins to swirl to like a tornado. Goof a little bit. Go all right. And Eldritch blast the hag. Go for the it. Green one. Yeah, you can see underneath this. You can. Try yeah, you don't need. To, you don't need to count. I mean, Eldritch blast does everything all the time. Well, I was just indicating which one I was talking about. Okay. It's my laser pointer, if you will. <laughs> I'm gonna roll shit again. Don't believe that. No. <laughs> <laughs> don't jinx yourself. Believe. Well, I can't do any uh, attack rolls ever. It yeah. fires wide, trying to get underneath there. They're still moving around a little bit to avoid the blows. Um, Gareth's turn. Gareth's turn, yeah. Gareth, and you're free. That's where he's going. Bop, right bop, bop, bop. right back moving. in. Damn. Damn, they should have moved one more square to the left. I know, right? <laughs> they should you have, have You have taken enough, Ether. And he's, uh, bop. Oh, baby! Okay, which you one? You know what that means. Ooh, a double. It means a triple is what it means. <laughs> and oh, you know what else I'm God. doing? I'm using another superiority die, baby. Oh, baby. I'm just going to wait till the end to add it all up. Yeah. <laughs> that's so many dice. That's three. That's 5d6 plus the, plus the superiority die is what that uh, is. And then again. Um. Or I get, I get to roll it again. That's like dunking so, someone. Oh, so 13, bro. 23, 30 damage to both green and yellow. Oh Two. my god. Savage attack. That is literally critical. dunking in lava, but like a little bit less brutal. One, two. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. One, two. Yeah. Three, four. Two both of them. So take only the 10. I'm not taking the four, I think. 
Right. Yeah, like yeah that makes sense. Seven, six, ten, plus seven. Okay, you, uh, the who does the damage must tell me who what the damage total. I literally is. told you it was thirty. Oh, thir thirty. What the fuck? To the brown one? To both, both. green and. Uh, oh, four, two, nine. Okay, that's uh brings us up to that number, and the green one is up to holy shit numbers. Yeah, they both take a huge amount of fucking damage. Yeah. That hurts a lot. That's You that's... have taken enough from the mother goddess. Uh, woof. Okay, Rip well. Take from the grave as he fucking just brings it down on the one, The one kind of oh, buckles over. Oh, um, No, I mean the one buckles over trying to maintain concentration and fails. Oh, God. And the other Aww. one succeeds. But the, the green one kind of like, ah, like doubles over as you just like split open her side, essentially. Isn't, isn't there a rule about constitution if they take enough damage that it's an auto fail? Uh, no, but the DC does become half of however much damage you did, which would have been, what, 15 if it was 30? Yeah. So one fails, one succeeds. I did that right, yeah. surprisingly. Um, but yeah, the one fails, one succeeds, and uh, it is it is roughed for the one. The one is like, ah, maintain! Um, and keep giving together! I need more ether. We need more ether. The brown one looks at the green one, raises its finger, and kills it. Brown one kills the green one? Oh, damn. What? Excuse that me. Was the, that was the healthiest one, too. Doesn't look like it's the leader. Well, you know what? That makes it easier oh. for us. Brown raises its finger and points it at the green. The green goes, wait, no, I have to see the Morica! Then is just destroyed. Her face is just like, destroyed as this blast of us? force comes out. <laughs> Um, Shut your mouth! Don't give him ideas. Fuck! I'm going to kill obliterate. you. Obliterate. Maybe it's only ritualistic. <laughs> uh, the there. Uh, let's see here. I now mark down. Yep. There we go. Uh, why? Why did she do that to that one? Because she blew a level six spell slot to do it. Is why. Damn. Can we see that spell, please? Uh, light lightning bolt at sixth level. Uh. Fuck! Oh. Is is that what is that what you were hoping? Because that's that's how much that's what she does to this other hag. If that's what oh, you're. Oh my! Hey, imagine God. if I was like right here. <laughs> I'm just I'm just pointing out. Wait. I mean, what a what a dumbass hag didn't fucking decide to align it so then I was gonna get hit by it. What a fucking fool! <laughs> no. Hey, Listen. what do I need to do to learn lightning bolt? Uh, get the level. You will like, not learn something like that. <laughs> Be become a hag, actually. I have it. We're accepting. Uh, <laughs> oh, the spot just opened spot up. Spot just opened up. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the, uh, the, oh. the, the, the the brown robed one raises their hand and uses a sixth level lightning bolt and kills the other one. Just blasts yeah. them. Blasts them into oblivion. Kills them instantly. Wait. And uh, a spectral image. Stop saying, wait, you're done. Listen to the fucking narrative. <laughs> the, the spectral after image of this fucking green hag that's left over, you see, like, this green fire emanating and hear these horrible screams uh, as it is pushed into the cauldron. And the ground begins to shake. And the sky lights up green and purple. Uh, it is Azarine's turn. I'm gonna move over one, which does not have a attack of opportunity because I, I am within a five-foot radius. You are so right. But, hey, remember when I said I had lightning bolt? <laughs> what? No way you have lightning There's no bolt. no way you have lightning bolt at level she three. She has a scroll of lightning There bolt. was a scroll from the Kenku that I did. Oh, right, I gave it to you. Oh, boy. Well, then. Um, I can only use it once well, because it's a scroll. Well, well hold on. Well, no, there's hold a... on. Let me, let me just look something up real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. What level is... Okay. Which... It's how much... Level. What is the dice on that one? What is that? It's 8d6? It is 8d6. Alright, we'll go with that then. Alright. Excellent. 8d6. Well, I think, I think there's a Wait. chance of the thing retaining its form. Let's the, see the, here. The scroll. Like, it doesn't... Like, this... it's not an auto-destroy. No, uh, this is, this is not a normal... This is not a normal scroll. Um, scrolls in D&D 5th edition are stupid, and I do not like them, and though they do exist in this game, the scroll that Azarine has just used is a homebrew object that does not exist in the Dungeon Master's Handbook. Um, mm -hmm. Just to warn you. This one is consumed upon its use. Okay. All right. Yeah. Like the regular, Fine. like regular scrolls in D anD D, you have to ha you have to be a high enough level to cast the spell anyway, which right. is wildly less useful and way less cool. Why is that? 
That's really stupid. Yeah, I don't understand because, the point of scrolls in this game. I'm like, I, because I guess if a wizard spends enough time looking at a scroll, oh, yeah. he can learn the scroll. It's just an opportunity to for a wizard to learn a new spell. It's basically what scrolls amount yeah. to in d I'm all for that rule not existing. Yeah, it's, so, can yeah. I roll the 8d6? Yes, you may, because you cast it and they're just going to make a dexterity saving throw. But uh, guess yeah. what? They're at disadvantage right now because they're trying to concentrate on this little spell. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. 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 The the oh, hag no. the hag like finishes like blows the dust off her finger and goes ah, ha, ha, the ritual is complete and looks to the left and there's just this flash of blue lightning um and the, the world goes white for a second uh is that the roll oh my god twenty one points of damage twenty one damage okay twenty one twenty one twenty one points of damage that brings that one up to sixty six points of total damage taken and the other one. I believe to death. Yep. Hell yeah. Oh. Fuck it up. Yep. Uh, you incinerate the top half of the brown robed hag. Tell me that one wasn't the coven leader. Oh, the brown one seemed like the leader, but the, you know, hags oh. don't really work in... What happens is the red one goes, Finally! Oh. Because uh, it's the common leader. And now you the see now you see purple light emanate from this dead body oh, and into the great, cult. Great, great. And now all that's left is red burning energy, a spectral afterflow. This one great. begins to combust. This one begins to burn. Like it's like skin is like on fire as it seemingly is taking on some kind of powerful um, embodiment. Um, I believe that's the end of your turn. Definitely, scroll is an action. I, you are done unless yeah. you have a bonus action thing to do. Uh, I will get rid of lightning bolt from my. Valerie, it is your turn. So I'm going to dash forward to this one. Yeah, the, the scroll like combusts like after you do that. There's like this afterglow in the air of the rune of where the scroll formerly was as the paper decomposes around the rune, which floats in the air, continue, like the ink, for a little while longer, and then it just fades away into nothingness. Um, Valerie, okay. you run through, sprint through, you dash in. And draw my rapier for a quick strike. <laughs> I'm afraid that does not hit. They they grab like the tip of your rapier and begin to like push the blade back towards you. <laughs> you cannot uh, beat me even with a <gasps> the king really sigil. The, bonus action, right? the king sigil. The king sigil. What? King sigil. Healing word is a bonus action, right? Uh -oh. Yes. So as it grabs my blade, I like. Uh, Valerie like moves her hands in like several different motions oh. and casts healing word at level two for herself. Uh cool, you heal yourself a little bit for damage and uh it yeah, this 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 witch, this hag just starts like belting these words out there, just screaming like the king's sigil! The king's sigil! We're saved, we're saved, we're saved. Oh, by the goddess above, the Morrigan, come to us, come to us. Um And she uh drops to one knee. What? In prostration. Wait, to me? Yes. What? Um What? Uh, it is its turn, I guess. What the bloody hell? Let's see. Oh no, I'm dressed like someone else, I forgot. Well, might be it. Uh, you look to your left, though, and you see that your tattoo is glowing. After you got hit with lightning bolt. And revived from uh, the dead. Ga and Gareth looks Gareth. down his shirt and sees that his thing is also glowing. Um, it, it kind of like oh, throws... Those are tattoos. Uh, the, your tattoos are glowing bright lights. They're just like uh, solid light. Is everyone's light on your skin. tattoos or just mine and Valerie's? Uh, now that you guys take a second to kind of stop and look at yourselves, yes, all of your tattoos are glowing a bright, brilliant light. All different I colors. I still of can't course. see it. You're, just, <laughs> you're, you're like a dog <laughs> chasing your own tail. Um, I can't one... see mine in my peripheral. Um, the light, at least. The hag does throw out a quick hold person trying to like res try to get Azarine to kind of because Azarine's done a lot of damage. Um, Azreen, you have to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Twelve. Okay, you, you do fail. You are kind of immediately, your arms are kind of like, <laughs> kind of like lassoed shut. Um, but the hag does not like do anything more than that. It looks like it's just like crowd controlling. Um, you know, this is a lot less fun when I do it, when I'm not doing it. Um, we're saved, we're saved. It is, a uh, technically Brookhield's turn, but I mean, you know, talking is, in theory, a free action. 
Ugh, what a plague sword. Ugh. <laughs> I'm just gonna kill it. <laughs> I really just want to kill it, but... The days of man and mortals are numbered. We have come, you've come. Oh, the walls, they have been destroyed. The aether, it flows like rain on the plains. The deserts drink it up. What on what? earth are you uh, speaking about? She walks up, Brookhill walks up a little bit, like, closer to the hag, like, to get, you know... She reaches better. into her pocket and pulls out a disgusting, moldy deck of what appears to be tarot cards and begins rapidly, like, placing them out in a Ew. strange fashion. <laughs> Vile. Um, a very complex, ornate the design king? across the floor. What did you call her? Your goddess? The Morrigan? The Morrigan! The Morrigan! The Queen of Karma! Oh, Roll history. Probably not, but roll history. No, I don't. <laughs> folk tales, right? I mean, like, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the old witch of the forest that stole children away and was, like, the, the witch prime. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. familiar bre brewery and witchcraft. And uh, she's kind of, she's the goddess in the theory of karma, which isn't inherently bad. Um, but a lot of, like, hags and other otherworldly creatures tend to worship her as kind of like this goddess of chaos, essentially. You, um, so you know Gareth uh, is actually kind of removing part of the split to reveal his chest. She kind of like shies know. away from it. She kind of like covers. She kind of covers her face. <laughs> what? Uh, but like he he points uh, the heavy blade kind of underneath her chin and like makes her look up. Do you know about these tattoos? Yes, and, yes, I know. I know. And like, and like, like his tattoo is now also visible. Uh, in the light. Oh, oh, oh. oh, those sigils have not seen the grace of air and the stars since aeons long ago, since the kings walked the land astride their great mounts and united the world. What are they? They are brands. They are marks. They are promises. They are promises that you will be great. But not all great heroes survive the fable. <laughs> she comes. Oh, for the love comes. of God, tell her. Like, like, does anyone else want to ask questions? We. I don't know what to ask her. I mean, okay, so. <sighs> you know, Gareth, Gareth is about to just, you know, skewer her. I um, mean. I can't really say anything because mine's different from yours. Well, she's looking at all of you saying that they're the king's sigils. She looks at all of you with wild, crazy ah. eyes, cackling. What king? Where is this king? Do you mean the dark-eyed prince? <laughs> no, no, feeble non-believer. <laughs> the dragon? The dragon. Do you know him? There's nothing about a dragon. Old wives' tales, but the kings are true. The kings are real. They united the world long ago. They wore those brands and have mocked them for greatness. They killed my queen. They killed the gods. They killed the old gods and replaced them with these disgusting, dis vile cretins. These are marks. They mark the beginning of a new era, an era of mana and aether and magics and chaos and nature reclaiming what is hers. She's lying. There's no way. Even I mean, now. I read, I, I saw mine in a story. Aye, but if it was a sigil of the old kings, then I'm surely there must be record of it in history. I do actually remember finding a book that talked about the old kings when we were in that library, Ezri. Did you take one of them? Did you take it? I actually did steal the book, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, the sigils, they wear them now proud as the mark of flags and, and ceremony, but they are more than that. They are promises to the world that you will be great. You will break down the walls, the barriers, the physical things that hold us together at a level beyond that which you can see. I envy you. And she stands up. Now she comes. The walls have been destroyed. That which is old is new. Again, behold, on blackened wings. Does oh anybody boy. look up? I do. Garrett doesn't. Garrett keeps this fucking thing on her. Sure. Like, no, oh, I look up. Through the dark, swirling tornado up above, pulsating purple and green and red. A large black figure with tremendous wings 
swoops down from the heavens towards this bowl of fire and brimstone, which you see is quickly dissipating. Inside the cauldron, you see just boiling, bubbling soup of nothingness and this gigantic crow-like monstrous shape descending down towards you. Stelka! As it gets closer and closer, you see that it doesn't really have like a beak-like face. It just has like a long, more round owl-like face, actually. And the hag looks confused. Is something the matter? Wish. The stories, the stories. She's the crow goddess. She is so much more beautiful in person. Come to me. I am your humble servant. We will conquer that which is ours. Ruhild grabs the, the hilt of Garrett's sword and just like gives it a gives it a shove in, in the witch. Sure, uh, make an attack action with Gareth's sword. Roll, an eight, it's roll strength, I yeah. suppose. Yeah. Um, if I mean, Gareth wants to assist, you'll have advantage. Or if Gareth is trying to resist, then it will be at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not killing her yet. All right, you try to resist the attack, which makes it just an eight, which means that Brookhill tries to thrust the sword forward, and Brookhill, and Gareth is like, wait, hold on, and uh, stops the blade. Um, this tremendous crow-like creature is coming down. What is the magic nonsense? This is the only... The cards have foretold we shall take these brands and tear down the walls of man! And she reaches over to Azrin, who is currently being held person, and makes a claw attack against the side of her head to try oh, and no, rip her moved, skin off. If she moved towards someone, I'm killing her. Well, that's a strong word. Killing is a strong word. You can try. But she still has health and she still has AC. Roll attack. I'll let you do it, though. Well, I mean, you, you're I mean, holding an action. Fair, like, I literally have the blade under her throat. I'll give you advantage, but... It's natural armor. It's not like you have her in a way that's any more disadvantageous than before. Ooh. Uh, 18. That hits. Yep. Yeah. Does, does that not kill? Uh, it does not kill, but I will say that she tries to, like, sweep her hand over, and she tries, she, like, tries to reach behind Azarine's ear to just, and starts to put her fingernails up. Her intent is to just rip her ear off, rip her skin off. And Can I around. follow up with a rapier attack? Sure. I mean, you guys are all here. I will say, I won't say that you guys have her at your mercy. I will say you guys have all held an action to unleash an attack as soon as she tried to do something. Um, I can't move. But you can't move, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, but uh, advan I'll even give you advantage. Yeah, 15. Um, well, a 15. Yeah, no, that hits the brown. Uh, I'm sorry, the red one. Um, that is 9. 9. Cool, cool. And this is the red one? Yes. Well, did I, did I, like, did she not reach? Because the main thing was her not to reach. Yeah, I'll, t her. I'll tell you what. When two, gig like, two large blades stab into her hand and smack into the side of her neck and, like, do, like, significant damage to her, yes, it does stop her from, like, her, her hand goes wide and she doesn't actually go for the claw. Um, Don't she move, witch. I will not be ceased. My goddess is here. You shall all be punished. Brookhill tries to light her. It's advantage. I'll let you do it. No, it's fine. I, I already gave everybody else advantage. Yeah, and then all, all of a sudden right. she just like. Oh God, we're not even letting her talk. No. Nope. More like, I was letting her talk answer. until she decided to attack. She tried to kill me. Uh, yeah. nine eighteen. That is plus five now. That is twenty three extra points of damage. Oof. Oh, she took a huge amount. Oh, she's knocked back about four feet. <laughs> Narratively, she is knocked back, but she occupies the same square. Not provoking attacks of opportunity. Uh, she does make a constitution save with her, though. For each single attack that hit her, I believe. Oh, that's already a... Succeed! 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 Ah, oh, damn. Ah! Uh, bam, bam, bam! Um, they're very... She's very good at this. I mean, listen, she has a hack. She, like, magic is her thing. So, th this is a tough opponent. Um, and she even seems, like, empowered by this, like, red flames around her from the death of her coven, which she seems to be ecstatic about. Happy. Um, and the cards are scattered along the ground now. She's bleeding profusely. She's holding her hand up against her neck to, like, keep the blood in that Gareth has inflicted. And there's a wound on her arm that has been, like, a, a rapier stab. And, like, her nose and face is partially burned now, horribly scarred and malformed. She's just, just what are the cards on the? What are the cards on the ground? Uh, it's, a, the it's a deck of, like, tarot cards, essentially, that have now been oh, knocked there's, about. There's none, up, there's none, like, that she has placed upright? Or oh, no? no, she placed a few up. She placed uh, the tower, the devil, and the hanged man. Yay! That's not a good fate reading. We're no, it's I'm, not. I'm, I'm most worried about the hangman, actually. Actually, the hangman is much less of a bad omen than the tower. I ironically, though, tower is well, you know, tower, in, tower is a horrible omen. In the but uh, tower and the devil are awful. In the tussle, you're not quite sure which order those were dealt in. <laughs> now, because now they've been scattered about. Um, but you are certain that they were played in their proper order. 
well. <laughs> Except for one. I'm sure you know which one it is. And she's just laughing. She's just, like, wildly laughing as you look above and you see giant black wings beating down below, a gust forming, your hairs being whipped back and forth. Anything you say or do in these, in these final moments before you're... Can before you die a horrible attack? death? Yeah, before you're all killed. Can I, can, I, can I get one more, like, free attack or no? Um, uh, n talking is a free action, and, uh, yeah, you can go to start making an attack. We'll see if it completes, depending on how well you roll. Hmm. Yeah, no, he's, like, he's, he's had enough, like, he thought he could maybe get some coherent knowledge out of the hack, but nothing really was too beneficial, at least to him, maybe to the other group members, but... He's just like, I've heard enough. Return to the ether, and he's just gonna just plunge the sword. You raise up your sword above to plunge down. Go for the plunge. Go for doing some damage. Let's see if you can do a lot in one uh, turn. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Whoa, that's, that is pretty good. You, you might be able to do it. You might be able to do it. Let's see Double it. Double crit. That's the end of savage attack, right? Savage attacks. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Okay, add it up. You might be able to do it. You might be able to do it. 69. 69. 69. Nice. I, I kill him. I got 69. No. <laughs> I got the 69. I killed. Uh, add it up. Left that for me. Uh, that is uh, 25. It's 25. Oh. Okay. I, can't add, I can't add the plus 9 on the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only... Um, his savage attack allows him to add one extra one. dice. Mm -hmm. um, which right. in theory means that he's just going to add the first one. Because he can't yeah. roll in multiples less than two. Um... But yeah, you you slice it down and do a huge amount, like pfft, a huge cleave across her chest. She's still standing and she's still alive, but like she's definitely bloodied at this point. She's well beyond the fifty percent death zone. Um, but she's uh she's up and just cackling, like, just laughing in your faces. Maybe you might be able to get one more answer out of her, but it looks like the, the thing above is about to. Um, everybody roll a dexterity saving throw. Well, oh, no. and if anybody has any one thing that they wanted to try and say to this. Uh, thing before. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I'm good. Okay. I'm so wait, good at back. Are you, are you still held? Oh, no, 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 wait. They, no, have, to, they, have, to, they have to roll con uh, <sighs> You are so right. Otherwise, she's still in it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, she finally fails. The, yeah, also, the field goes down. The incantation she was doing, too. That is true. I'm dead. So what? Tell so you what. She As Rena's rolled so good, she's allowed to help one other person succeed. You got a critical uh, success. Oh, first of all, let me just let me just. Throw no, this let me one. die. Let me die. It's watch. fine. Let me die. Through killed. I'm saving you. You're well, I'm Valerie has it rolled. Valerie rolled. Yes, got 23. Yeah, yeah, Valerie rolled. Oh, my bad. Yeah, uh, but no. So, through killed. You're being question. saved by a yes. fish. Uh, it seemed like they were summoning this thing since mm -hmm. I broke their con concentration. Like the concentration, does it, that stop? It looks like it might be too late. Uh oh. Fuck. Um, yeah, uh, Azarine jumps forward and kicks Ow. off of Brookhilt's chest and does a sick backflip, and Brookhilt goes flying. Like, <laughs> like, um, to get her out of Gareth, the way. you'll throw yourselves backwards up against the wall, and, uh, the hag lifts up her hands to be snatched up by this large beast to make her escape. And the large beast brings down its talon and smashes it into the ground, killing it instantly. Oh. Uh... The hag's hand twitches underneath this gigantic talon. The gust stops as this large black monstrosity sits in front of you, curling its fingers and claws deeper into the hag, black blood and purple liquid spilling out onto the soil around. Um, the feathers stop as the wings pull themselves in, and the last breath of the hag is emanated. All is quiet. Gross. This large figure turns its owl-like head towards the rest of you. Gareth already has like his blade ready, like he's ready to swing again. Don't, ho! Oh, that's a god. I'm sure I can make it bleed. Uh... Speak, mortals. Uh, uh, um, you again. Great Morrigan. Um. Uh, I... Cocks its head. Uh, Twist it back and forth. Brufield is like, like she's really shaken, you know. Like she ate that fucking lightning bolt to the face. She got drop kicked right in the chest, like. But she, she kind of like crawls up. She, actually, she stays on her knees. You know, she thinks about it. She's like, okay, okay, I, this is a god. You know, I need to show reverence. What is the matter of this? And he just shows the 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 marking. Like Gareth's just like <sighs> he is like zero, like. 
done with this. No like, protocol. Yeah. Uh, what is the meaning of this? Gareth, roll a wisdom saving throw. Mm, wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, wonderful. Gareth just stops moving. Oh god. He's still standing upright. He finishes that sentence and then his eyes just kind of glaze over. He's still breathing. Uh, Brookhild looks down like she avoids looking at the at the the creature, the the whatever the the bird thing. And she asks a uh, 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 great Morrigan, we have been branded by sigils of uh I, I believe your enemy the the great kings we seek um simply understanding we did not seek out this brand we were chosen against our wills it bends over and kind of like you you don't look at it but it does bend over and looks at you very closely and you can maybe turn around to show it um your brand and it looks down with these yeah, actually, large actually if i'm looking down eyes. like it's on the back of her of her neck so like looking down you, she can just, like, move you her feel brain. hot warm breath on your neck and like a faint Something brushing up against the back of your neck that feels like hard, chitinous, um, and a, a deep smell. And uh, you even feel something wet that goes across the back of your neck. It's a little uncomfortable. And then it lifts up again. Um, you, uh, the, the Morrigan, the Morrigan, whatever you'd like to call it, it's a god. It doesn't matter. In theory, it's a god. Who knows? Um, it just takes the, the body that it's just like parading around in its big taloned foot on the right hand side, just chucks it. Just fucking chucks it up high into the air, flies it over the edge of the of, of the uh, the terminus of the uh, building, and starts walking around, um, picking up the bodies of the other hags and bending down and starts kind of like pulling at them a little bit, kind of like pulling at like their their um, ragged clothes they, to kind of like get a better look at them, and then it just chucks the bodies. close to Gareth. I'm I'm worried. Yeah, now. yeah. It gets close to Gareth, walks right past Gareth. Gareth does not uh. seem to react. Gareth is still staring where the Morgan was about ten seconds ago. Um, it walks around the outer side of the room, of uh, uh, the circle, kind of like looking at everything, looking up at the sky, looking around, at, uh, looking at all of you. Um, does anybody look at it, like, in the no. face? I mean, or are you guys Gareth just, like, did. avoiding a look? Yeah, Gareth tried, I mean, and I think, uh, I think, now, he's, now he lives like, his life like this. I don't. <laughs> Brutal would try to look up at it when it's, like, looking away, like, when it's walking, like, you know, sure. Like, I don't look at its back as it's running around. Uh, when you look at its back, it's just like all black feathers, and it looks like a half a crow, half owl. Like its head is much more like owl-like, and it stands more upright like an owl would. Um, but it's all like black raveny feathers, um, with a long tail. Um, but when you catch a glimpse of its face, it's just like all it's like all white feathers for the most part. But it's just like its face is just like shifting and like changing. Um, and it makes you very uncomfortable to look at. Uh, but if you if anybody wants to attempt to, then they are free to do so. Gareth attempted to. Um, no. I kind of want to attempt to look at his face. Roll a wisdom saving throw. I want point. to know more about. It's a dangerous thing to know. You you look, look up at it and like for you're you're caught between two looks. You're like it just looks like a normal owl, but then it turns to look at you more directly, and it's like a woman's face. Um, <laughs> oh, and so, it changes so again very quickly. Um, the forms shift, and you blink, and then you're kind of just Valerie's just kind of frozen, staring. Up in the distance where the Morrigan was as the Morrigan continues to walk around the outside of the room, looking at its feathers, scratching at the wall, kind of like feeling everything. Um, just to be clear, everyone can still hear. Everyone can still, in theory, see. Gareth and Valerie are able to listen to what's happening. They just oh, are real shit? Oh, I thought I was to... out. No, no, you're just like... You're just like frozen. Like frozen, yeah. You have the feeling of being in a dream, like with sleep paralysis. Oh, so we can't talk. Yeah, can't talk right now, sorry. Maybe in a second. Maybe in a second. If uh, it isn't uh, too much to ask, sorry, I'm not used to these things. Um, all, we re all we ask is for some answers, if it pleases you. It would please me. What year is this? Uh, what what year, is, year this? is it? <laughs> Make one up. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Fourteen fifty-eight. Sure. Fourteen fifty-eight. Oh my god! <laughs> it's the year fourteen fifty-eight. It has been fourteen hundred and fifty-eight years since the formation of Grecia Tapel. Okay. Why do you let us do this? I hate you. 
I don't know the significance. Do. I really don't know. Oh, all right. Wait a second. Wait, wasn't Gracia Tapel formed after? No, it wasn't formed yeah, after Dark No, Prince, it was mind. before, but then the Inquisition happened, like, af like became stronger after. Of but... course, it's only the year 1458 if you are, you know, abiding by Gracia Tapel's big world power. And we owe ourselves to call year zero the formation of Gracia and Tapel. Uh, yeah. Which you, it, of course, is... should if you're a proper, a proper yeah, citizen of. of... It, it is year 1458. Of um, the Gracian calendar. There you uh, go. My liege, or whatever. How do I? How do you call it? God. Shut the shut the, shut the fuck up. You <laughs> call me Morrigan, as that is yes. my name. I have been gone for millennia, and millennia. The stars have moved. And it's looking up at the sky, looking at constellations that have never revealed themselves. Now the storm has passed. Is uh. Is that incorrect? What is incorrect? Uh, calling you the, uh, Morrigan? Uh, is there another... that you prefer? It stops and thinks for a second. Well, charisma. Well, just a general charisma. Just a charisma. Just a general charisma, Just a right. general charisma. Ten. No. It matters not. The things that called me by my name are, are no more. All right. Uh, Creatures, yeah. mortals, mm -hmm. is that what you are? Uh, it, yes. Things I... with hearts that beat. Yes. It walks over to the final remaining body of the, the last hag that is kind of just thrown up against the wall, and it kind of picks it up off the ground in its large talons, and its mouth just kind of hangs agape. What is this thing? Uh, it summoned you? They are, um, fey, uh, Morrigan. Fey creatures, uh, we are called they? them hags. It appears they worshipped you. And, uh, as my friend said, they summoned you. Looks down, stares at it. Its head kind of shifts back and forth. Anybody got queasy stomachs? Nope. No. No. I'm not looking at what's happening. <laughs> I love horror games. Uh, it takes its talon and it just dives down into it, like between its collarbones, and just pulls down, like pulling a zipper, essentially. Um, God, it does not like these things at all. And it looks the bird inside. Is my wife. Um, and in inside, you guys, if anybody takes a look, kind of learns a little bit about hag anatomy. Well, yeah. Oh. yeah. They don't. I mean, yeah, Gareth is just staring at yeah, I mean, Gareth is kind of Gareth is kind of forced to uh, look at this horror show, but he's he's a tough soldier. He's a tough cookie. Um, they don't like what's inside the Mori like what's inside the the Morrigan's kill is um it doesn't have a heart. It doesn't even see, it doesn't have lungs. It doesn't have like a lot of things. Like e like literally sand pours out of some of the organs. Jeez. And then uh, the Morrigan just kind of fucking throws it aside. Seems like no one likes hags. These are things of aether and nature run wild. The things that prayed to me had hearts that beat. I do not know if I could love a creature like this. I did not demand death. And it looks around at the bodies that are strewn about this room and the sacrifices that have taken place and the horrible autopsies that have gone on and the dissections and the cattle that lay on meat hooks in the corners. What, what, what do you demand, Great Morrigan? Justice. Oh. I am the goddess <laughs> that delivers equality on black wings and sharp talons. I am the goddess of karma and justice. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. What part are they? What part is, what part is on my fucking uh, lapel? Uh, the Gretchen Tapel. Uh, that's a seahawk. That's a seahawk. Oh, seahawk. Okay, never mind. A I'll common, a common that. bird to the northern harbors of Gretchen Tapel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I just want to say, even though Gareth can't talk or move, like, like he is like trying so hard to like, like, I don't know. <laughs> to to what? Valerie really yeah, wants to, to overcome fucking... whatever the fuck is with him right now. Well, I suppose. How? What your? What? What would you do if you were to overcome whatever were to happen right now? Uh, well. 
he doesn't like how like not. you know reverent everyone else is being towards this thing. Oh, I, I'm fine with him being unable to talk. It makes sense. <laughs> well, <laughs> Gareth gets right. Gareth gets the sense of depending on what he wants to try and do, that might actually impact whether or not he's able to break out of this frozen what? state. Well, I mean, he he asked what the meaning of these brands were. That's before true. He became frozen, and she hasn't gotten to that yet, or they haven't gotten to it yet. How? What right. do, does this god care about gender? Maybe probably not. Probably uh, not. But... It, I don't know. Valerie really wants to know about this thing's face. She probably stared at it again just as she breaks up. <laughs> Valerie, roll another wisdom saving throw. As you're like, like big gaze for the big bird gaze, god. big gaze. She saw its face change, and she wants to know. Oof, real charisma saving throw. Mm. You, you beat the 12, man. You beat the 12. Now you gotta beat the fucking the charisma save. Oh you see it. It begins to form. The, the bird-like face is more or less just like some kind of ethereal coating, and just beneath that thin veneer is what appears to be a woman's face. A very feminine-like face. Very white porcelain. It still doesn't look, it doesn't look earthly, and it's still gigantic. Um... But uh, with with that though, you're you're kind of like your whole body is kind of like shaken with like I have seen something I have not been I am not supposed to see. Um, what would you do if you were able to break out of your frozen state though? Uh, Valerie or me? Valerie. <laughs> I really want to beat past every single barricade this thing's throwing at me. I want to know everything about it. It turns and looks at you, almost like it can hear your thoughts. Look into my eyes. It says as it bends down very closely in front of Valerie's frozen face. Um, That's so scary. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Valerie, I want you to roll a constitution saving throw as you are taken on the trip of your life. <laughs> you're only, you're only Did I just get portal of truth? 20. You, I want to know you. You feel like you fall into the darkness that is their eye, like a star field. Like infinite space, you see like blue nebula and shooting stars and comets that are outside horizons and stars that you do not recognize. You see spaces and foreign realms that you and no other living creature was ever meant to see. You feel like you are floating in an endless expanse, an abyss that simultaneously feels crushing and lonely and also beautiful. There are several stones flying in space above a swirling black planet. You fall to your knees and hands, shaking. I like those who like to know. Am I free? You are free. <laughs> Look at me. Valeria uh, hesitates and looks at her again. It is a owl body with a female human face with several feather-like protrusions coming out of her cheekbones. When she moves her wings, though, you see more like of a feminine curve to her figure. Like, it's a very uncomfortable combination of bird and human. But she mostly covers herself with her, like, wing. It's just this black mass, black robes of feathers. I see. You oppose well, these creatures that wish to summon me. We do. The fact that they were able to shatter the barriers between our worlds and bring me back is just signs that something has gone horribly awry. You, well, um, you know what, girl? How do we go to bus with this? <laughs> the, um... There was a, uh, dragon, a mountain exploded, uh, the a dragon. four of us... Yes, uh, the Twin Tails, uh, Father of All Fiends, I think. What's that? Oh, no. You are destroyed. No. Gareth is dead. <laughs> Crushed, unable to move. Gareth is unmade at the particle level. No, um, <laughs> no, it looks up into the sky and just kind of like counts the stars for a second, and then comes back down and looks at you. 
I believe it calls itself Diathustra Diamundara. That's the name of the dragon that gave us our brands. It is far older than I. We, the Pantheon, refer to it as a myth. It last came around at the end of the previous world. I was a humble creature then. What if we told you it only reappeared a few months ago? Then I would tell you all that your world is in grave danger. And not even I right, can I help that. you. There's no stopping it? It looks at you. You look at it. Roll wisdom saving throw. <laughs> ah! Yeah, that was the only one that can look this thing in the face now. <laughs> Seven. You are frozen in place by the sheer audacity, the, f the force that this thing gives off. Oh, God. The air kind of quivers like, like it's hot, but you don't feel hot. You don't feel heat, but the air does quiver. Her mind is, like, racing between, like, everything that's happened in the past, like, few weeks to, like, the stuff that she's read in the library about the sea wyvern and, like, her internal struggle. <laughs> I see you all are the shapers and movers of Aether. I can feel it now, the wind dancing and the earth singing beneath our feet. It is a melody I have not heard in aeons. It is strong, flowing like a raging torrent down the river. Even my form here is sustained. This is a new age indeed. So, uh, brands really hold significance to that? Brands, brands. Yes, you show me your brand, one with hat. Oh, Gareth, Gareth is on that. Shows her her shoulder. It really doesn't take much because her, her upper arms are exposed. She bends down and looks at it very closely. This is absolutely tremendous figure that you're standing in front of. Um, she looks at it very closely. They look at it very closely. It doesn't matter. Um, they uh, examine it. These are old roads, things from either the abyss or the heavens. They mean a powerful words in my tongue. Oh, Gareth really wants to know what his mean. Oh! <laughs> the concepts that they convey are unpronounceable. Fuck! <laughs> So we wouldn't know the meaning behind them. No. Are you an Aether Bender, hatted one? Aether Bender? Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Magic. <laughs> Gar Garrus, like thinking if if they mean if Bru I mean uh, Brookhill can speak. Brookhild is one of the few left that can communicate with Valerie and say, Magic, idiot, magic. Yeah, yeah, she's like, magic, magic. Oh, yes. Then do it now for me, the strongest that you can muster. Uh, Weave the air and the light like it is but a single wisp of grain in the wind. Is she telling that to, to Valerie specifically, or just like to the group? I guess Valerie is... Just gonna surround herself with fairy fire. Is that the strongest thing? What's the strongest thing you can do? This, uh, what is the strongest thing I can do? What's um, the strongest thing that you can do? Yeah. Dissonant Whispers, probably. What is your highest level spell slot as well? Uh, my highest level spell slot is two. Hot! It's three now. <laughs> oh. What? What? It reaches down with its feathered finger and touches you on the head, and there's a glow of red. Um, and you have a third level spell slot that what? is, that is oh. empty. <laughs> Show me. Fucking cast dissonant whispers on a god. <laughs> does it want me to? Does it want me to hurt it? Speak to me in your blood red voice. 
Uh, Valerie like is very uh, nervous because she doesn't want to hurt it, but she begins uh, whispering like under her breath in its direction. It turns its head and just listens, and everyone kind of hears this very loud, uncomfortable, like, dark whispers in every corner of this room, and even the lights dim a little bit as Valerie uses third-level dissonant whispers. Ah, yes. I haven't felt movement like this in a long time. Your brand had it won. It means tongue, or perhaps lash, or perhaps guile, or perhaps cunning. God damn it, Proto. Or perhaps <laughs> cut. Proto, roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Have I been able to break out yet, or no? Because I've already just had, had friends you. with a fucking god. Damn, Brookhill. All right, go off. Brookhill oh looks up God. at the face of God. Roll a Christmas there. Oh, shit. Fuck. Um, 21 saves. Charisma, 14 saves. You look up at the face of God and see the most beautiful woman made of starlight and lunar the eclipse that you could possibly ever see. I'm glad you're still giving this to us in your fucking voice as well. What? It's beautiful. Good. Uh, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. You can finally see her face, her beautiful face, her Has angular Gareth face. Has Gareth been able to break it yet, or has he just been? You will. Uh, Gareth is too stupid. Him Gareth, away. fuck you. Gareth will. It's a, it's a gay god, Gareth. Gareth will <laughs> never be able to break it with his current course of action. Do I get to break it? Yes, yeah. you can try to roll a wisdom saving right. throw and a charisma save if you succeed on the wisdom save. Uh, this is wisdom. a two-layered save. It took me a lot of pain. No. Nope. It did take you a lot of pain. <laughs> no. It turns no. Look at me. And it approaches Azarina and bends down <laughs> and opens up its eye for it again. Um, okay. Roll just the charisma saving throw. Nine. Uh, uh, you are cast into the dark abyss as well. Oh, great. Um, though you have a bit more of a tumbling time, you feel like you're falling um, rather than floating. Um, it feels kind of uncomfortable for a moment trying to just, just plummet through the atmosphere, plummet through stars, um, like a shooting star yourself past moons and craters and stardust and nebulas that you have never seen beyond just the Milky Way that is just always out of reach. Um, you feel like you're in the deepest of waters, cold and slightly out of your depths. It shakes you a little bit. Roll a constitution saving throw. Oh, God. Constitution saving throw. 13. That's well, not bad. That beats 12. Um, oh. you do kind of, you see like the stones floating around an orbit of a black planet and you do kind of like <gasps> immediately come up, but you are moving, you're breathing, you're talking, you, you fall kind of on your knees as well. And though you're shaking a little bit, you feel like if this thing did not mean you ill will, um, you're just gazing into the face of something perhaps slightly beyond your ken. <sighs> Gareth, what would you do if you could break out of this? So Gareth? is the question. Oh, don't worry. Gareth is here with us in spirit. <laughs> oh, no. God has muted him. Oh. God has deafened him. Oh. Uh, yeah, but yeah, everyone except for Gareth is kind of around. Let me read something real quick. Huh? Let's see. I'm reading what you sent me earlier. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, I, yeah, if my current course of action probably doesn't really gel with it, even though they're like, okay, okay, wait, did they said? I'm trying to remember because they were like, they... Yeah, what would Gareth want to do if he could break out of this trance-like state is the question. And what you would do if you could break out of it is part of breaking out of it. Right, right, right. So. And the three, like, three things that I said are all not probably gelling well with it. Yeah. Well, um, the rest of the party's uh, seemingly free and moving about. Uh, Azarine, it kind of bends down and whispers um, something in your ear as it kind of oh. looks around your ear at the same time. Flow. Is that what mine means? And also gouge. 
Hey. The way water cuts through rock. These symbols are ancient. They have been placed on special stones throughout the world, and we have taken them to our dialect. The Dea Tang. The Dea Va. Red One. Do you mean me ill will, Red One? Uh, question. I don't care the question. This guy, care. what exactly did he say in related? Because I remember you said something about imparting justice. Yes. Yes. She's the goddess of justice and karma. Yeah. She claims to be yeah. the goddess of karma and justice. And so when the hags were saying like, ah, she's the goddess of chaos and and karma. And that the, the thing came down and fucking that murdered was them. Incorrect. And was like, fuck you. Uh, it seems to be looking around at the death and destruction around the, the many kidnapped bodies, some small, some large, with disgust and ire. Um, does that answer your question? Uh, yeah. Do you answer its question? I don't know if you want me to say this or. I don't yeah, know. tell me. Speak. Yeah. Um. Can he actually speak or? Ooh, one moment. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you can God certainly. Can probably read. You his... could think. Yeah, I'm saying this is what he's thinking. Oh yes. Hmm. It turns its head. Gareth falls to his knees, freed. <laughs> Oh. He, and Garrett, Garrett kind of pushes himself up with like the sword because I mean he literally like just died and came back and then all this shit has happened so yeah. he's kind of leaning on he's very out of it now and he just kind of he, he takes a moment to collect himself and he's he thinks about it and he looks back up idiot um, looking across your chest, you just have these horrible, horrible gash and scar marks from another blast of magic. Um, and, and it but is... He also has, like, his, his marking is, his brand is also visible, because he took off, like, like, a quarter piece of the chest armor. Yeah. To show the hag. She approaches and looks at it, um, very closely. Uh, do you, uh, looking at its face causes all kinds of terrible things to I, happen. I, I, I don't want to look at its face right now. Sure, you, you shut your eyes as it gets closer. You feel its hot breath on you. Yeah. And it looks at it very closely. Churn. Or maybe charnel. What was the second? Out of, out of character, what was that second word? Charnel. Charnel? Like the handbag, like absolutely. <laughs> Wait, yeah, Chanel. Charles. Oh, Chanel. Oh, Charles. I believe. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, he knows. Oh, never mind. He knows what Charnel is. He doesn't like what he hears. <laughs> but he doesn't say anything. He just kind of remains quiet now. Like his, like his eyes now completely like not looking up. And also change. Looks at Brookhill. Yeah. yeah. It I'm goes back over to you. Looks what? Looks back. It comes over to you. It approaches you. <laughs> it looks at your neck. It savors you as it swallows you whole like a mouse. Nice. Stop letting me get bored. <laughs> You're going to get You're, bored this is nonstop. Your picking the smallest fucking character. She's barely shorter than I am in real life. Split. Rive. Rove. Divert.
the feeling one feels at a path that splits. Oh. Hmm. Brookhill uh, clears her throat and, like, you know, like, swallows and, like, nervousness, and she says, uh, a, a Great Morrigan, you have answered our question. Um, you must have questions of your own. What are your names? Valerie. Azarine. Uh, get, get, he's just gonna say Gareth. <laughs> like, uh, I am Brookhild of the House of Irvain. It blinks. It goes back to digging around the various dirt in this area, trying to seemingly uncover something. Um, it digs up literally like a few bodies and stuff like that, and uh, a few like pieces of branch and odds and ends, like potato sacks, are unshoveled in the process. <sighs> what do you have to say? Despite my curiosity of your face, which I've already gotten out of the way, I have another question. Speak. We have time. Why do you hide your true form? I do not hide it. You simply have trouble looking at it. What are you looking for? Why? Or maybe how? Perhaps what? I have not come back by choice. I am surprised these three foul creatures have managed it. I sense there's more to this puzzle. See, twin tails had something to do with this? Maybe. I uh, was summoned that... as it was summoned. This is a question. I cannot answer that question. Up the the twin tailed dragon was summoned at the top of Mount Orion in the north, um around a circle of stones, I believe. I do not we know did not that see name. any hags. I will find it though. Perhaps you have given me my first place to look, though I must check on my descendants. D descendants? Those who still worship the cause of the just and the righteous. G Gareth feels very confused right now. <laughs> like, he what? is... I am not a child of justice? Like, he's just like... Oh, I think Gareth is in crisis of literal faith. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and things that he didn't say, but it seems like the thing knows, like... My people have made their promise to me. I will keep my promise to them. This is the way of a god. And what is that promise? To help them in their times of need, and to promise them that for every evil there is good. Do you, uh... Gareth looks up. <laughs> I've been summoned by vile means. I must make amends with the world. Yes. Can you assist with Do you that? know of the, um, sea wyvern? The world lord? The what? <laughs> The World or war? Below. The Maelstrom. He is the god of lost things that have been dropped to the bottom of the abyss. I see. And she fiddles with the ring on her finger. <laughs> I do not know it personally. Perhaps it doesn't exist. This might be a stretch, but do you know anything about St. Joan? I have known a St. Joan in my time. 
this might be an even further stretch, but was there a woman dressed in black and a red hat actually with her? Oh. <laughs> you ask very detailed questions, one with hat. There have been many a uh, hero and champion that fought besides the Saint of Jean. Many have worn a hat that is red. I'm afraid she met her end, fighting on the continent to the north of here. Which continent? Because there's Gracia, and then there's Idrissus. The one directly across the sea. <laughs> Where Does the she mean ice like Saint John died on the other continent, or the other red-hatted hero? Uh, oh, Saint John. Uh, but Brooke, you'll roll an insight check for me. Yeah. Oh, fine. Because <laughs> my book said that Saint it's John died book here. Uh, no, <laughs> it's, you're edu you're an educated young dwarf who actually knows things yeah. around the universe, um, and you are keeping track of the tally, and you now have no less than three locations that Saint John has died in. Wonderful. Supposedly, yes, so. But only one of these locations is corroborated by the ward of the god. That is true. You <laughs> have the god yeah. there. Uh, Great Morrigan, it is, it is never in my intention to doubt thy words, but I have heard the death of St. John. Many people claim it has occurred in. In different places. Uh, the summit of Mount Orion, for one, where the Twin Tails was summoned from. Uh, that place bore also the mark of her grave. Morgan blinks at you. Uh, simply... That is not the mortal way. We cannot die more than once. And... Uh. I suppose I should not doubt you. I am told a true warrior will die many times before their final end. But I am not one to trust the prattle of storm giants. I would have one last question for you, Great Morrigan, if I may. Brutal fiddles, but her like she, she stands up. She's still she's still looking down. She doesn't want to look at the, the 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 god bird, and she takes out her um her arcane tomb, her the special one, the the book. It does not want to come out. It, <laughs> it is like no. <laughs> Do I have to fight no! my book? No, you're fighting. It does not want to come out. It was happily hiding behind you this whole ass time, and I like. And now I have it. And you're like, come on, get the fuck out of the bag. Throws I... like little black full metal alchemist hand tendrils, just <laughs> cling to your bag. I have a... happened upon. Ugh, move, you bastard! It comes over behind you, and eventually the book is freed from behind you. Um, the Morrigan approaches and descends its long neck down and looks at the book, and the book is shaking in your hands. The book is, like, sweating. The book is like, oh, lord. A codex. Not a tome. Not a book. A codex. Uh, thank you for enlightening me. I am... Um, uh... It is very peculiar to us mortals. It, However, it, it looks like there is something know. living in it or through it. I have made a mistake. <laughs> like a hermit crab wears a shell. It, it it's it's word. Does it will harm that being? Is it... Should I trust it? No. <laughs> yeah, no! 
<laughs> I don't trust Garrus, but I trust God. Trust in yourself. Right, right, of, co of course. Th thank you. Let's see. Let's the book go, and presumably the book <laughs> flows back into the. Thum. I cannot speak for the intentions of others. I can only promise repercussions. But Bruchel did not like that. You know, like that, 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 that like Telltale game pop up thing. <laughs> Book did not like that. Oh yeah. Uh, the Morrigan turns to look at Gareth, who tried to get its attention earlier. Yeah. Wait, are you asking me to say something, or...? It looks at you expectantly. Uh... He... Fuck me. I I always forget what I was gonna say. Um... Off the cuff? Everything I... Gareth in this Pardon? moment, too? Pardon? Oh, I was just gonna say, do it off the cuff? Gareth in this moment, too? Um... What... You... Say... Um... Because he, cause he's, he's still kind of just struggling with the fact that this thing is a it's thing spooky. of justice, but it, its intentions seem to be true. He can't... I don't know. He wants to look at it. Like He's, he's trying to look at its face as well, okay. as the others did. Roll, roll a... Uh, yeah. Well, we, we beat the wisdom saving throw. Roll a... Skip the charisma save now. Charisma... Okay, that's that's not. that's not great. Uh, no, you no. you just are on the cusp of of greatness. You look at it. You're trying to look at it. It, it shifts and it moves, and it just it kind of upsets you to look at a little bit, just because it's it's just creepy. It's just creepy to look at, but it doesn't cause paralysis or anything like that. You're past that. Right. He he he, he kind of averts his eyes again because he didn't pass it. But he's um he's trying to find the right words to say. Um, I can come back to you. Yeah, please do. I'm the, sorry. The, the Morrigan has other people to talk to as well. I mean, I'm Azra, Azrin and Valerie, did you have anything? Uh, not really. Azrin's just kind of like thinking through her head, like, like about now she knows it's called the uh, Maelstrom, and she's like thinking about the stuff that she's researched, and nothing is making sense to her right now. So as a little tidbit of knowledge, since it's already kind of revealed, uh, Valerie was named after a mythical legendary hero, and now this legendary hero is being made out to actually exist, perhaps? Mm. Yikes. So I don't know how to ask about her again. Big hats to fill. Big hats to fill. Big hats to fill. The runes you wear, the sigils of the kings. I have seen them time and again. Mortals bear these marks when they are destined for greatness, or perhaps power, perhaps just change. If the Twin Tails has returned, then there is a dark reason indeed. I have no vested interest in seeing the world destroyed. You have my aid. We appreciate it, because neither do we. Thank you. There are no prophecies at work. Simply the patterns of nature repeating themselves. Uh, yeah, no, Gar Gar is like... So, oh. did you? Does the Inquisition, as an organization, uh, strike any memory for you? Like, like Gary, Gary's like, he's just trying to think. Like, he because, like, you know, he's all about justice and truth and all that sort of thing. And, you know, like, serving the, the Earth Mother, and he's just like... 
He's trying to make sense of this all. He's he. It does not. Mm. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to be like that. Um. Then. Until. Fuck. Fuck, dude. I'm actually like. I mean, Gareth is also stunned in this moment, so I'm yeah. not surprised. Yeah. Um, the crow goddess approaches the area where the red hag met her end and begins to bend down very close to the ground, and uh, those who dare to look will see a horrid sight of what looks to be long, black-covered, feathery arms, like human arms, that descend out of this figure's chest down to the ground below, and slowly fishes up the deck of tarot cards. You will need more help. I. You will need allies. Yes. A whole deck full. So... Azarin, approach me. I do... She hands you 22 cards. Organized neatly in a deck. When she she hands them over to you in these black hands that are human sized and arm sized, but just, they terminate underneath like her feathers. Um, and she covers up the deck with her hands. And when she hands it over to you, pulls her hands away. They no longer look like the tired, moldy, bit and chewn cards that the hag used before. They look clean, Pretty. black. The edges cut. On the back is just a simple design that incorporates mostly dark black and gray with a singular green decoration in the center, a small circular jewel-like shine. I do not remember everything is to remember, but I do remember that the last ones who bore those sigils carried with them their retinue of champions. And if time and flow will repeat again, then I suppose I shall simply tell you how it has been. So perhaps it will be again. We eagerly await your word, uh, revered Morrigan. Uh, yeah. Um... (laughs) Gareth kind of also takes a step forward. Like, he, he's been, like, you know, kind of... He's had several hundred dialogues within his own head. <laughs> like, with himself, trying to figure out exactly what he uh, 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 needs to say. Um, and he just kind of... just kind of he, he looks to the side of that, but he says... Morgan. Oh. It looks you. Ever since... I was a child. I have devoted my life to justice and the protection of people. My organization strived to bring justice, not on this continent, but others. And your existence was, your name was forgotten to us. I do not know why that is. But my purpose is still the same as yours. It and looks at no you sh- yeah. very yeah. dark, very deeply. Would you kneel? It turns and starts approaching you. Um, like, he, he, he's been holding, like, he's been leaning on his sword for like and like you can see like his like nails are just like digging into the pommel and the grip and uh, like how close does it get it's gonna approach you until it is flush with you until you are close enough to reach out and brush its feathers with your fingers she's been scared for gareth before like you know seeing him like have his soul like eaten out of him by a (laughs) wraith or whatever but this is the time she's like you know, he's dead. He, he's gone. <laughs> he's fucking dead. <laughs> this idiot is gone. Yeah. 
And like he he he's not looking up by the way, and he just hears it coming closer. Yeah. You just see like two gigantic talons like in front of you, sitting like standing in front of you. And he just kind of just. <sighs> and Gareth kneels. Uh, the two hands kind of reach out from the body, the same as before. These small appendages that are on the underbelly of this gigantic creature. And it rests one hand on your shoulder and the other on your sword's hilt. And it moves to take your sword away from you, while also simultaneously patting you gently on the shoulder. Gareth, let's go. It takes, it's your sword and its appendage little hands and <sighs> brings it down on your left shoulder and then over your head to your right shoulder. <laughs> I was going to stab you. You got knighted. <laughs> wow. You got knighted by God. Your Yay! maximum HP is now 24, I believe. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Then oh. be just. Yeah. And she places your sword back on the ground for you to recover at your leisure. Yeah. He, he doesn't stand back up. He just keeps the kneel position, like... Like, he doesn't know, like, he... We're out of our league, he man. We're out of our league. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, oh my Chris, god. Like, oh no. it, ab- it abruptly stands up. It abruptly, like, stretches its he- neck up high and kind of turns its head around owl-like style, looking back and forth, <laughs> and smells the air. The four of you are powerful, and it branded some still, and you weave the aether like you do a needle and thread, but you are still young, and you are still Wait. weak. I do, uh, Garrett does actually kind of pipe up. He's like, you say I wield the ether, but I, like, he, he, he's like, he's like, he's like, how can I, basically? As like, all mortals do. Garrett, Garrett's just quiet now. Like, he, it's like, that's a weird thing to say. The same as how blood is pumped through your veins. But you cannot hear it, can you? The din. The high-pitched whine. No. It looks around all four of you. There are more. There are others. There are powerful beings in this land. There is a convergence happening. What should we do? For now, you must flee. Sequester yourselves. Look not to me for answers, for I have none. I am a stranger in this strange land, more so than either of you. I have been forgotten, and thus I have forgotten. Uh, of course. Um, we all... We... Would always be of help to thee if, if it is possible. Then perhaps if we shall meet we can again. Do, yes, of course. If not later than in a dream, as was the old way. This is your I final have time. A feeling you'll be able to seek us out, regardless. So. Your hat is very red. <laughs> This is your final moment to ask what questions I can possibly answer. I don't have anything else. Nope. Nope, I'm done. May the earth speed your steps. I hear the footfalls of armies. The wind will guide you. And she opens up her wings and beats down below, and all of you begin to float into the air. Higher Hi, and this higher. is what that dragon did to us. And as yeah. you get higher and higher, lifted by the breeze, you look down and see the Elden Wood much brighter and much less dark and dreary. Uh, the room that you formerly just fought in um, seems to have a lot of its a lot of its bodies begin to just start to burn away, consumed by blue fire. And uh, as you look over the horizons towards the rising sun at this point, you see flags. Flags and smoke marching through the woods. It is 
towards you. They are still many miles away, but they have been marching. It is an army from with... Kira, from Kirith or... From the east. Okay, not from Kirith. Okay. Beyond, yes. They uh, wave towards... here. Directly here. Beeline. Oh boy. What does here mean? I can't see the map. Uh, where we well, are. Where, where we are currently. The Elden Wood thing. The Elden Tree. Oh. The trunk. This deep, this deep in the middle of the woods place, wherever you guys have wound up. Um, you've had no uh, map so far, but... Can we see the the symbol on well, the flag? Let me finish my narration. <laughs> okay. Uh, on the bl on the flags, on the black flags, with its white line running down the middle, are two piercing dark eyes. I know this. We Do must I? return to Copper Bell. Yes, you definitely know this. Uh oh. Uh, there is a burst of light, and you guys feel a queasy sensation. Everyone roll a constitution saving throw. Time to fail. Uh, queen. I'm going to pass out. Whoa! Queen. Yeah! Everybody failing! Everyone except for Valerie. As the light fades, and you are back looking at, like, normal space, rather than just blinding white particles... Um, your stomach, like, turns upside down, and three out of four of you double over and vomit onto the ground. I've become this. Ugh. I've become this goddess's best friend. Valerie, <laughs> you are just, like, standing there as your three friends just wretch before you. The, the three people that hit the bad, the bad, bad rolls, mm -hmm. um, you are stricken with one level of a, uh, exhaustion. Right. Oh. Uh, exhaustion wait, level wait, 1 is disadvantage on attack, right? Uh, it's disadvantage on skill check. Question, did you say... Everyone who got below a 10. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Um, but as you kind of, like, pull yourselves up and look around, you're at the mouth of the forest. On the road that you entered this through to begin with. And Kirith is right behind us? Well, it must be like it's probably through the trees. You know, you're on the other side of the river. There's a salesman who goes by on their carriage and looks at the three of you retching on the side of the road and goes, fucking <laughs> tourists can't hold their drink nowadays. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Wait a second. We don't have proof of the hags being dead. Um, Do we need proof? Well, I mean, in most sort of kill and return. Uh, Well, Gareth, well, especially Gareth, you guys are all covered in horrible black, disgusting purple blood. <laughs> like you are, you are coated in it. Um, uh, well, that doesn't. Okay. Uh, but I mean, if you want to say, like, I honestly, I don't think you're gonna have trouble convincing Copperbell that you no. did it, considering you are an Inquisition officer. Um, but if you, uh, he also yeah. likes me. Yeah, I really, yeah. I don't think that'll be an issue. Good thinking. In, okay. in the future, working with other people, you might need to bring back proof. Right. <laughs> right. This is this was dungeon tutorial. Well, I don't think that'll be necessary. Um, but in the future, yeah, maybe an ear, maybe a nose, you know, a tongue. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you get to the back. You you are covered in like goop. You're you guys look like you've been through the ringer. Um, but yeah, you guys are at the mouth of the forest. I don't where know you guys what you're talking in. about. I look gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like vomit in her beard, <laughs> like oh I don't damn know what you. the <laughs> <laughs> dissertation. Um, yeah, she looks Gareth, she looks Gareth, good all of a sudden. Gareth is on the verge of collapse. By the way. That's fine. Uh, we are like gonna... the adrenaline's gone, and he did die, and not die. like like he did. He didn't you know. die. He went down. While all three of you, all four of you, consider whether or not three three injured ones and one pretty okay on Valerie, you're you're, you're feeling great. Um, uh, <laughs> I think, I think yeah. everything's okay. great, guys. You guys kind of have to just kind of just consider. Like you guys are kind of sitting there, sort of being like, "Did that happen? Like, was that any of that real? Did that?" Did any of that happen? That was so many horrible things. Um, and while you guys are kind of considering that and possibly trying to return back to Kirith, which will take you no more than like an hour, um, we're gonna end here. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. That. Uh... Say goodbye to the stream. Bye. 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 Bye.